gonna say words and do things but oh, I guess now I'm not I'm gonna do this instead all right I've started nothing. It's just <laughs> I see. Right. Okay. Well, at least we can go see a good friend of ours. So, what's Von Brad up to? Uh, Von Brad, our friendly friend, friend is delivering an egg. They are doing this by. Executing some leather golems and triceratopses, and... Triceratopi? Triceratopodes? Tri... What? Plurals? Uh, anyway. Well, there's now less dinos. Uh, joking funky there. The, the, some have been executed by Votbrout here. Uh, they were getting in the way of delivering an egg. So, you know, oh, they've delivered the egg. They're now placating the coatles. And now they're executing some diplodoci fetuses. Well, they're dead now. Uh, you know, I think I should... Uh, just Sir Lomfrop the Land Squid is now dead. Okay, uh, we're 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 getting out of here. I I think we've seen enough today. Let's not watch. Let's not see the uh, upsetting aftermath of their rampage any further. But I'll tell you what we are doing. We're doing this. This came out today, and uh, I'm doing the incredibly, uh, the incredibly cynical thing and playing it on launch day. Because that's the way to get views, right? Play a big name title the day it comes out. So that people go and look at your channel. Hope I got some mods in today, cause... Oh dear. Right. Press almost any key to continue. Hmm. Alright, adjust the slider until the right skull is barely visible. There we go. Okay, let's fuck around. What the hell am I even doing? 
Uh, yeah, 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 it's all good. Ring sinks off. Good. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Audio master volume already at 50% before it did anything. That's good. Although I'll need, uh, I'll need to know if it's too quiet or not because I have no way of testing this before stream. Yeah, that seems all fine. Let's just get right to it. Biome. Right, I am level... Back to levels one. Back again. Unlike my horrifyingly large DRG uh, level in normal DRG. Alright, and I have none of whatever this is. Crystalline Cavern. Always so beautiful here. Ah, it's beautiful in the Crystalline Caverns, apparently. Alright, complete the dive. Upgrade Deep Core GK2 to level 12. Collect 200 gold. Hazard 1, please. Uh, well, I got an achievement for having the scout appear on screen, I guess says unlock but they're already here uh, all right those nimblest of dwarves they rely on, they rely on long-range weapons and increased mobility to faster explore and escape the dangers of hoxies uh, da, 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 da. a bunch of stats that I have no context for scout it is uh, right and I have no other versions I can use just yet. Uh, yeah, like, hey, when I originally saw this game, I was thinking, oh, Solo Dwarf alone in on Hoxies. Must be about Carl. And, uh, no, it's not. It's, it's not. It's just more dwarves. Uh, okay. 10 times 10% move speed, 2093. Uh, I have no options, so whatever. Classic Scout feels best. Find and eliminate the dreadnoughts. Remember, you're on your own this time. There's no one to carry your body back to the drop part if you fail. Our gold. Oh, leveled. Uh. Reload speed, max HP, increase mining speed. Increase mining speed? This works. Oh. I killed the loot bug, and I'm not oh. so proud of it. Loot bug, die! Oh, that's a, that's a the whole bunch of uh, all right. Yeah, let's make the uh, gun a little a little better. A pop the loop let's get the middle. Can't land the supply part. Impact zone is cluttered. Get it fixed. Let's get away from them, shall we? Hey, Bosco. Ooh! The swarm is heading your way. Load up. Oh, that's not good. Oh, hello. Let paint job that lets you imagine your weapon is now prettier. Doesn't hit harder, but looks fancy. Uh.
Oh, that's, oh, oh, that's some detonators. Oh, that's, that's not good. Uh, mine faster. Goodbye. Uh, oh, new weapon. All right, uh, cryo grenade does moderate damage and slows enemies. Uh, throwable explosive cold air, okay. Jury rug boomstick, close range. Uh, oh, yeah, no, yeah, probably that at the moment. Quick firing weapon that shoots in four directions. Yeah, I think it's the boomstick, thank you. Yeah. Get away. I need some more weapons. I, I, oh, shit. Oh, Christ. Uh, let's just get away from that lot, huh? Oh, is that the thing I need to kill? Alright. Uh, increase my... F uh, let's increase my weapon level by more. Oh! Ah! Uh. Why am I doing that? That's... No! That's going to lead to my horrible death. Let's, let's, um, away. Get it done, Miner. The bugs are furious. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Christ. Okay. Uh, mining speed increase. Threat level keeps increasing. You need to work faster. Oh, God. Oh, I have to get out of here. Why am I doing that? I need to get out. The drop pod is about to leave. Get your ass moving, miner. Diving deeper, taking you to stage two. Right. Okay. Oh, right. This is what the this is what the uh, gold appears to be for. Uh, let's heal myself. But at a premium. Uh, and. To me, mm. dial it in. All right, let's go. Load up and get going, miner. 
We have quotas to fulfill. Whoa. Look at this guys. Ooh. Increase the weapon and the fire rate. That's gonna be good. Oh yeah. It's probably not wise to go straight through them, but fight for your life. A big swarm is approaching. Oh, God. Ignore me, ignore me, ignore me, ignore me. Oh, there's a mini-map. I didn't notice that until now. Like any of this. All right, let's let's go get some experience cubes. I think that's what this is. Cube swarm detected. Get ready. They'll be with you shortly. <laughs> Somebody triggered it. It happened. Oh, so many of them. Ah, the elite has been spawned. And I'm dead! Bastards got me! Secondary objectives are locked. Now Have even more work per hour worked. Nice. Ugh. Okay, thanks for the hydrate. I probably needed it after that. Well, I did that one. <clears throat> and... Mm. Scout leveled. Once. Uh, I have no idea what most of this means yet, so let's just ignore it. Upgrades? Hello. Increases my XP gain, you say? How about that? Uh... Yeah, 
Yeah, and I can't afford any of the others. Oh, and I have the mineral market, so I can buy and sell minerals. Caverns, the jewel of right, back in. Haven't unlocked any others yet. So let's just get on. Ooh. Sandwiches and beers! Yeah! Fire rate increase, please. Oh, Ooh, there's a light bounce back when I level. Hmm. I'm a new dwarf. <gasps> Can't drop supplies for you yet. Prep the landing zone for impact. Look out, a loop box. Oh, where's the landing zone? It's down here. Oh, that's what it unlocked. There are now flowers, and there are now like the various sub objectives are now hanging around. Oh, ah. All right. Uh, increase reload speed. Increase damage. Uh, let's just do more damage. Well, that's a lot of gold. Let's have it. I like gold. Oh, but that's going... Oh, Jesus. That's... Ow. A swarm is heading your way. Load up. Yes, I might be making an unwise decision. Let's go with a cryo grenade. Ooh. Gun better. Fire rate ma rather largely increased there. Ah. Uh. This works. The Elite Mac Terra. Alright, big flying horrible thing coming after me. And there it is. Perish. Seen that option before. Yeah, I want to take less damage. Oh. 
Oh, I've made a mistake! Appreciating your presence, oh, Miner. Get the last task complete. Stage finished. The drop part is prepped and ready. Get on it before it leaves. All my weapons reload faster. What? Ah. Stage one cleared. Be sure to Goodbye. Nitro before the next stage. Okay. Okay, okay. Ooh, that's a big pile. Let's I'm a better armor. Not die. Yeah. This is perfect for my build. All right, let's go. Level two. Oh, there's some. There's some of this. I'm getting too old for this shit. Why does it have the dreadnought music going? Why does it have the dreadnought music going? I do not want dreadnought. Uh, more resistance to damage, please. The swarm is heading your way. Load up. Mushrooms. We can't send in supplies until you clear out the landing zone. Perish! See you in hell. Uh, 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 uh. 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 Just be better. Well, Mystic, I always kind of thought the scout was female, because, you know. To be fair, with dwarves, how do you tell? Uh, collecting red sugar increases my max HP. A small chance to find XP when mining anything and gain XP when I take damage. XP when I mine. That sounds good. Ah! Pickup radius increased? Yes, please. Bosco, could you shoot some of them, please? Die a little 
it inside every time I have to take out his loot box. Ooh. All right, I've got to kill a thing. Where is it? Hey, loot box. I killed the loot box, and I'm not so proud about it. Oh, Jesus. Uh. Oh, red sugar. The bugs are growing stronger. Uh, increased damage of all my weapons. XP, 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 give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Uh, fire rate increased, yes, please. Don't get this wrapped up soon, it's all over, miner. Time to boot up a new clone sleeve. New artifact unlocked. Gold scanner. Oh, unlocked the M1000. Time for ping. I think we all enjoy a gun that goes ping. Uh, not as good as the uh, ping sound effect for for it that. Uh, that Iggy made. Let's have a look. What can I get? Uh, oh, wow. I got a lot more credits out of that one. Let's see. Make damage more. It increases life regeneration. Currently at nothing. Let's have it at something, shall we? In fact, let's have it at... Oh, I can't have it again. Okay. Max HP, crit chance, increases bonus for crits, weapon speed. No, I'll be alive, thanks. Um. What I was yawn after doing that. What wires are crossed in my brain? Okay. And increase my reload speed. Just breathtaking, isn't it? Right, so I still need to complete the dive. Upgrade the deep core to D12 and collect 200 gold for this. The goals in this thing. I'll try on hazard one. Uh, uh scout still. Scout plot. Still. Okay, so I guess the M1000 can turn up. Eliminate the dreadnought. Return in time for sandwiches and beers. You can do 
do this alone. Nitra. Oh, gold. Oh. Oh yeah, fire rate go up a lot. Yes, please. Get enough of this rare stuff. Sorry, little blood. Your own fault for being full of gold. God. Uh, armor. Land the supply part. Okay, I don't have to like mash myself into the rock to mine it, I just have to be next to it. Now I'll note to people that this is still early access, but it feels quite polished. Uh reload speed. Well, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess it must be. Maybe there's just some stuff in the game that just isn't there yet. I don't know. Big swarm detected. Bugger and get ready. Ah! Ah! Oh, time to get the gun that goes ping. That ping ever gonna get old? No, Scout. The ping will never get old. Love the ping. I die a little inside every Ooh. time I have to take out a new bomb. Go! Uh, get the fuck away from me. Feeling much better now. Uh, kinetic damage, increased fire rate. Oh, increased fire rate of the M1000. Yes. An elite Mactera. Oh, there it is. Let's get some XP so I can uh, murder it more efficiently. amounts of damage extra yes please Crawl back to hell. let me throw all the cubes armor yes please Level up again. Uh, increase the pickup radius. They're getting worse, miner. You need to move. Quota satisfied. The drop pond is arriving. Get moving. It won't hang around. This one suits me best. Uh, I gotta get to the pod. Uh, I'm growing stronger. You may oh, I'm in. Stage one. Well done, miner. 
Hey, if they do that, good on them. Let's see, what do we got? Epic, 45% pickup radius bonus. 18% XP gain. Uh, yeah, of that. Thanks. Of that one. Uh... And honestly, I think I'll just keep the rest. Uh, no, I'll upgrade the reload speed of that gun and then we'll go. Your mission is clear. Get to it. Honestly, I think before we get grab mod, I think we need the more satisfying ping mod. You're cute, but you're dead. Oh, hi! Swarm detected. Get ready. They'll be with you shortly. Supplies ready. Clean up the LZ. Ah! This run hasn't gone amazingly. I keep doing stupid shit. Around there. Prepare to fight for your life. The big swarm is approaching. Get some red sugar. Much better. Ah! Oh, goodbye. Increase healing granted on level up. Ah, dead. Statistics now. Okay. Upgrades again. What do we got? Uh, more damage. More movement speed. Uh, mining speed. Pick up radius, life regen. Let's have life regen again. Let's have mining speed. Back in. It's always so beautiful. I have earned still nothing. But I swear I've done this. It's gonna be hazard one for me. Maybe it wants me to do them all while I live? Find the Dreadnought. Eliminate the Dreadnought. Return in time for Sandwich. Collect more kites? You can do this alone. Uh, more fire rate, please. 
Oh, there's the more kite. Uh, armor. Found. Need more more kite. Oh. Oh, there it is. We have a supply pod prepped for you. We need the LZ clear. Exemplary work. You've achieved your objective in record time. Uh. Fire rate increase. Uh, let's get the Zukovs. Just see what the Zukovs are like. Alright, constantly fire. Firing in four directions at all times. Oh, wait, that's where I need to go. A swarm is heading your way. Load up. Scanner shows clear. Supply pod inbound. Uh, uh, uh. Red sugar increases my maximum HP. Uh I'm gonna go with this. Reload speed of the Zukovs increases. Oh. God, I'm leveling up really fast. Why is that happening? Um I move faster. Destroy loot bug. Ah, Nitra. Go for that. Ah, the big nasty boss has arrived. Oh. HP increased. New bug pop. Aha, red sugar. Oh god. Just what the fuck. Dead. Well done. Objective completed. Drop part has arrived. Get uh, reload speed. Uh, gotta get out. Gotta get out. Gotta get out. Gotta get out. Get out. Huh. Stage one cleared. Be sure to spend your. Yeah, base TRG is real good. Love, love Deep Rock Galactic. It's great. Did a whole load of it over on his channel during the p period where the co-op was that. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I rarely go for this one. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. And yeah, that's good enough for me. Let's keep going. Your mission is clear. Get to it. 
draw out the elite. And there are Parker Blooms. Ooh. Mission control, you surly bugger. This one's for you. Orb. Orb. Ah, pocket blooms. Get them. Mine some of that as well. That, oh, ah. Okay, managed to get away with that. Swarm detected. Get ready. They'll be with you shortly. Yes, they will. Oh, God. There they are. I need some pocket blooms. Yeah, this is getting more and more like DRG as we go on. Cogs. Oh. Get through that lot, dick holes. I'd love to go back for that XP, but I'm gonna get fucking killed. Maybe I can loop back. The scanner just lit up like a Christmas tree. We got a swarm incoming. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. I think I know what it means by clearing the LZ now. I have to get rid of all the rock in that area. But hey, maybe the swarm will do that for me. Okay. Uh, give me more healing on level up. Damage more. The Prelite Praetorian. Oh, there it is. Great. Well done. You got them all. Those poor little fellas trapped up there at the top. For crap's sake, move it! They're everywhere. Okay. I'll take this one. Boom. 
They're going blood crazed. Work fast, miner. Um, more fire rate. Kill them faster. Please. Stage two done! <laughs> right. One, heal myself. I'm the healthiest dwarf in town. Two. You don't see these every day. I think it was that the uh, the epic was for all weapons of a, of a type rather than just one weapon. I have to collect Bulu Cap. Okay. Ah, 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 oh. oh, there's one. So I'm starting to see what the uh Ow Ow Bulu Cap Bulu Cap Bismore Bismore We can't send in supplies until you clear out the landing zone. That's just what I need, said no one. Away from them. Goodbye. Goodbye, bugs. Another day. Objective completed. Prepare to fight for your life. A big swarm is approaching. Oh, more swarm. I'm 
raring to try this out. Ah. Third weapon. Right. Now I can actually take a closer look. Right. Honestly, the cryo grenade was really good last time. It was really, really good. Um, right. Target is the highest HP enemy, which, you know, when I'm having boss encounters is really, really good. Broomstick. Yeah, I'm having problems. Yeah, just get people away from me. Orbs. Yeah, having to bait the exploders is, uh, Oh, shit! Please kill them! Please die! You're really pissing off the boats. They're getting angrier. I know! Please die! Find the Nitro Scanner. Unlocked overclocks for the Deep Core GK2. Alright. Up new upgrades. Right. Orbs. Uh okay. Don't have enough uh, of that to do more of that. Not really interested in criticals at all. Um, pickup radius going up is something I'm up for. I think that's good. Uh, having armor by default is also something I'd like. And just doing more damage is also something I'd like. Right. Back in again. It's so shiny here. Ah, it did complete that one. Okay, so that is now done. Finish the dive, collect 200 gold. I think I can collect two hundred gold. Let's see how gold. Hazard One feels. I mean, if I just go for it, if I just go That's for the gold. Scout. Don't mess with perfection. We're sending you in to take out a dreadnought. Get it done. Oh, leveled up immediately. Okay. Uh, fire rate go up. Yes, please. Give me the gold. Uh, more fire rate. Need blue caps. Okay, let's look for blue caps. Oh, jaddies. More gold. Too much 
much crap in the way, supplies can't land. Clear it out, miner. Uh more fire rate. You're cute. Just keep firing really fast with all the bullets in the gun. Now, where's that, uh... Ah, it's this way. Get ready. They'll be with you shortly. Yeah, there they are. Right, new weapon, uh, broomstick. Ba, 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 broomstick, baby. Increase the XP. Sounds good. Small chance to find nitro when mining anything. Ooh. Uh, increase weapon. All right, increase reload speed of shotgun. Yes. Good. Oh, there's the uh, elite slasher. How nice. Um, increased damage of all weapons. Sent max HP, yeah. Right, let's get the fuck out. Heal me. They sell blood at this shop. Oh. I'll take it. Yeah, I'll do. The gold it might be talking about is the gold, like. Get going, miner. Yeah, I think I know what it's talking about. I have to not spend it if it wants me to do that. You want something done right? I just have to collect as much and use as little as I can. Oh, well, not not going that way. That doesn't go anywhere. Ow. Apocalypse bloom. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, give me some Big swarm detected. Bug up and get ready. Uh 
tripod prepped and ready, Miner. We need you to clean up the landing zone. There's that landing zone hiding then, there it is. Nope, can't stay there too long. Need to... Ow. Go back this way, eh? Increase mining speed! Increase the speed that I can rock and stone! Big swarm detected. Bug up and get ready. Goodbye! damage to the shotgun. What have I got? More chance to find gold when mining anything. Yes, please. Ah. Doing some red sugar. They got your scent now. Threat level increased. There's some. And there's some more. Much better. Ah. 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 Explode! Thank you! Uh, fire rate! Hello, whoever just joined! Uh. Hello! Hello! Hello, Goomer! <laughs> nice to have you here! <laughs> I'm all alone okay. in this cave! It's dangerous! Yeah, I was gonna ask if this is a multiplayer game, but I, I don't guess not. think so. I uh, I actually did play the uh, demo for this. Mm. I forget if I played on stream. I try not to play Vampire Survivors likes on stream because Pank hates them. Yeah, well, Pank bought this one. Oh. <laughs> Immediately after I mentioned it to them. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> oh, I think maybe fuck. <laughs> Akuma, I fucking bought this one right away as soon as I saw it. Fuck you. Hey, Pang. Hey, Pang. Well, uh, uh, 
I don't know what to tell you. You you were like, uh, can you play something interesting when I played Vampire Survivors? Listen, Vampire Survivors is trash. This is amazing. Uh, got to crime grenades. You know what? That's about, uh, valid. I don't agree, but I, but but I'll I'll let you have that. Uh, I heard you talking shit, Bear. So I had to show up. <laughs> you <talking> ah! shit. <laughs> Well, I've unlocked a boomerang. Wonderful. Yeah. Anyway, let me just uh a zoom I've gotta go. I've gotta go get ready for a stream myself. Okay. I'll see you both later. <laughs> oh, is it a stream I could potentially guest on? Uh yes. It's either going to be Baldur's Gate 3 or I was a teenage exocolonist. It was a tie today, so people gotta pick at stream start, 10 minute vote. Okay. Okay, okay. I might, I might be popping up there later. Also, George, do you know what today is? Uh, Wednesday, my it dude. It's a Wednesday. It is a Wednesday, uh, my dude. Uh, <laughs> it is so tired. Uh, but, uh, but it is another day. Today is a very special day. It's Valentine's Day. Um, and it's a very important day that we all should remember. It's the day that the native Hawaiians stabbed Captain James Cook in the neck for being a fucking colonizer. Yeah, that's a good thing to remember. <laughs> it's always a great thing to remember if a day that James <laughs> Cook was stabbed in the neck. He by got, the got really hard. <laughs> so he yeah, got that's it a, really it's a special rough. day. Okay. <laughs> he did. It's, a... it's, it's, it's somewhat uh... sad that basically I just completely blanked on the fact that it was Valentine's Day, and I kind of always do every year. No, I always do too, and Mainly I'm in a committed relationship, I mean, so it's like I've I've never been in one, so mm. well, yeah, George, you I... can always be my Valentine. <laughs> I I'll be honest, George, I you're really not missing much. Like I'm mm. sure it's a big deal for some people, but it's L it's L not listen, a big deal listen, for chat. a lot of people. Make Valentine's Day every. Not every day in your relationship, because then it would be insane. But make yeah, it every that would so be often. Just absolutely it, yeah, wild. That's crazy, yeah. Make, make it like a day. Make it like a regular thing every so often, just to appreciate your partner, whoever they are, whoever they may be, uh, or however Gorge, many partners I, you have. Yeah, yeah, I, I concur. But Gorge, I have activated my uh, video now. All right, I'll get you in. I'll see you all later. Good goodbye, Pink. I hope your stream goes well. Yeah. Gay. Gay. <laughs> also, I don't actually have a permanent uh, thing for you, so I'll add it. All right. It's um. Yeah, I've got the link. Uh, I just okay, need good. to uh, actually right. create a new source. All right. Because I can't copy them. Annoyingly. <laughs> I could just copy them and then go right. It's this. Imagine not appreciating a partner every day. Yeah. Yeah, I think Valentine's Day only really makes sense for people who are in the, like, active process of dating. It is... <laughs> ah! Alright, let me just, uh... I think White Day is much cuter. Filters. Get the... Yeah, yeah. We're doing it live, everyone. I'm, I'm building this live. Paste filters. Uh, oh, that's right. Do um, filters. Uh, there we go. Drop that. Yep, that's perfect. Color key. Which one is the one I want? Because I have tons of them. None of them. And you know what? Excellent. I'll, <laughs> I'll add, a, add a new one. And you know what? I'm I'm uh, I'm on George's stream, so I'll I'll go the full kit and caboodle. Put the bowler on the. Uh, what was the bowler originally called? It was called something else. Honestly, I'll have known it as is the bowler. Yeah. Oh yeah, the bowler is a role in cricket. Yes. Oh, it's the it's the pitcher. It's the equivalent of the pitcher. I see. Also known as a coke hat, billy cock, bob hat, bombin, or derby. Oh yeah, I've heard them for. Uh, I've definitely heard referred to as derbies. Anyway, I thought a derby was something else, huh. and it might be now. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, well, hello. You're here for now. Hello. Uh, <laughs> said I was going to do this for a bit, probably not the whole stream. And then I was going to move over to, over to some privatized education with uh, Two yes. Point Campus. <laughs> uh, so campus, not hospital. Yeah, the second one. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right. Well, I, I need to do some upgrades. Do you need to make up a third one that's like two point learning hospital, so it's both. Mm. Uh, I imagine funding still being available for things like that. <laughs> hey, I remember when uh, the government gave learning positions a sort of bursary to just hide themselves over so they can survive the like nine year long educational courses it takes to become Insane. a medical professional uh, and now they don't the fuck had the hat that makes you fuck yeah yes bank the hat that makes me fuck i think the bowler is the less least suitable hat for fucking in it's like really hard and it's it's just liable to fall off your head well to be fair it can kind of contour to your head so that's true there are other hats that will absolutely fall off your head if you try to wear them during sex <laughs> like you ever tried to fuck in a top hat i have oh, I mean just Saturdays. you know <laughs> it's just you know <laughs> I can't imagine yeah, yeah. that one staying on. <laughs> ah, Chunky from Chunky said yes. Okay, that's well. Okay, so what the hell am I going to upgrade? What would be good? Uh, let's just have better stuff on levels. Uh. Increase pickup radius again. And that's all I can get. Crystalline caverns, the jewel of Hoxus. Hmm, interesting that we're starting at the crystalline caverns. Because that's not one of the starting maps you normally get in DRG. It's one of the later ones from the, that you unlock. Hmm. Okay, it still wants me to collect 200 gold and to finish Let's the dive without dying horribly. I think the only reason Lincoln wearing a, a stove by Pat worked was because he was the only guy doing it. <laughs> Everybody around him was wearing other hats. I'm looking at a picture of Isambard Kingdom Brunel. Oh yeah, Isambard Kingdom Brunel. Uh, Brunel, Brunel, yeah, Brunel. wearing a stovepipe hat, but he, like a dozen other men are wearing it around him, and it's somehow terrifying. They look like uh, some kind of, you know, the Dark Souls bosses that are like a bunch of guys. Yes, it feels like that. <laughs> like they're all going to attack you as one unit. I mean, they probably are. They're British industrialists. It's true. <laughs> I'd be terrified of them in a sort of in a gaggle. That would be quite unfortunate. <laughs> Not sure that's the correct term for a group of British industrialists, but I'm gonna go with it for now. Yeah, give me some sugar. Like they're geese or something. Supply pod ready for insertion. The drop point is too rocky. <laughs> yeah, I mean the majority of them were. So uh so so you know, that works. <laughs> streams broke, huh? Is it broke? Streams broke. Yeah, someone redeemed yeah, that the streams seems... broke. Audio goes scrungle. Ah. It's unfortunate. Well, that's uh that's kind of unfortunate because there's not really a lot I can do about it. Yeah. It's a known uh, issue. Just... Oh. Oh, thank God. All right, I can pause to do the Wheel of Ooh, Suffering. Nice. Okay, good. <laughs> I haven't tried to pause before, so. Oh, okay. 
Here comes the roulette wheel. Let me see what happened in the year 1691. I mean, plenty, probably. Okay, I've got to go do some lunges. You can uh, you can entertain with history and things for a bit. <laughs> Ah, stop that! Oh. Ah. Apparently William okay. III of England was also the head of state of the Netherlands. I did not know that. William of Orange. Oh, yeah. Texas. Oh, but it was the Spanish governor of Texas. Oh, the Massachusetts Bay Colony issues the first paper money in North America. Guest and Pank is playing the Exo Collins game. Push them to cry as hard as you possibly can. I need to collect VTuber tears for a tincture. <laughs> I love a good tincture. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't want to ask what that's for. Anyway, <laughs> I'm back. Oh, and. Uh, seem to be back to, uh, well, dying. Oh, yeah. No, I'm good. Found red sugar. I'm good. I'm good. The swarm is heading your way. Load up. Ah, and here's the, uh... Give me supplies. Give me supplies. Give me supplies. Sure. Supply on the way. So, we can have the clipboard of grudges, which gives me XP when I take damage. The XP scanner, which gives me XP as a percentage chance whenever I mine. And the gold scanner, which gives me gold whenever I mine. I think I have gold. It's a little extra special. Uh, ooh, ah, ah, ah. Uh. Okay, new weapon. Oh, the new weapon is shown. It's a boomerang. It's an electric boomerang. Huh. You know, I might as well try the new thing. Time to bring the boomerang. Oh wow, that is doing a lot of damage. Good grief. Reload speed, damage, and pickup radius. Pickup radius will help me get more XP to get more levels. Oh, this is fun. In 1691, the date is unknown, but the Society for the Reformation of Manners is formed. Uh, in the London Borough of Tower Hamlets. With the aim of suppressing profanity, immorality, and other lewd activities in general, and of brothels and prostitution in particular. Well, those people <laughs> suck. <laughs> Except they don't literally, because that would have been fun. Yeah. This one suits me best. <laughs> it's calling to me. Yeah, it was going for about 40 years there. That hit the spot. There's a series of raids on Molly houses, homosexual brothels, in 1725. I did not know that was a term. Molly house. I. Wait, isn't a Molly also like the. 
A partner of a gangster? A molly? Uh, you're thinking of a mall. A mall. A mall. Yes, that's right. I mean, there's only one letter difference, as in there's an extra one. <clears throat> Oh, apparently there was a secret society in Ireland called the Molly Maguires. Progress satisfied. The drop pond is arriving. Get moving. It won't hang around. Uh, oh. hmm. So they were active in Ireland, but they were also active with Irish immigrants in Pennsylvania among coal miners. Uh, yeah, they organized strikes and such as a secret society. Huh. The drop pod will head out. Stage one cleared. Be sure to spend your gold and nitro before the next stage. I, I love these gang names. <laughs> uh, the white boys. <laughs> All one word. Just, uh, just a single white. Just one. The white, the word. white boys. <laughs> the white boys. <laughs> I don't cramp for brain thinks of molybdenum infused lubricant on here, Molly. Oh god, Molly. Molybdenum <laughs> infused lubricant. Molybdenum. Oh my god. You don't want to mix that up with the personal lube. No, you don't. <laughs> this place is almost nice compared to last time. And the Peepo Day Boys. <laughs> Peepo Day Boys. Peepo Day. <laughs> Organized crime in Chicago. Well, Hi there was a lot well, of I that. Love... <laughs> so... <clears throat> yeah, I, I I love bringing this up. So uh, the big event, it, like to start organized crime in Chicago, is that it was built on a swamp, and so to stop the mud from oozing up from the city's streets, which were made of wood, they. Uh, apparently it's called mud jacking. Yeah. They mud jacked the city three meters into the air. And they did not fill in the area oh, below. They just yes. put it up on stilts. Yes. Resulting in a this. literal yeah. underworld. Yeah, there's a literal of, of under city. Under the city. Uh, <laughs> conducting uh, commerce beneath the city of Chicago. Are all major American cities built either on a swamp or on sand? I don't know. I know that Berlin is also built on a swamp. Uh, the the Nazis wanted to build all of these grand monumental structures in Berlin and remake it as Germania. Uh, but they didn't know if the swampy soil could handle it, so they built this enormous concrete plug that's still there to this day. And the idea was to see how much it would sink in a given amount of time. And it ended up sinking way too much. But Hitler just went ahead approving the projects anyway because... Because he was Hitler. He was an, he was an idiot. <laughs> yeah, he was Hitler. <laughs> uh... So yeah, I will. <laughs> so that plug is still there today, presumably still slowly sinking. Um, the famous Nazi sink plug. <laughs> I guess it's just people like uh, location is everything. I suppose, like the reason Chicago is where it is is for a very um, good reason. It is the spot where the Great Lakes are closest to the Mississippi River. Specifically, the Chicago River is not a river that empties into, the, into Lake Michigan. They get just so, so close. 
so they just had to build a little canal between them and they could ship things uh, between, uh, you know, from Lake Michigan to the Mississippi and back. Uh, and it also happened to be a swamp. <laughs> Uh, English immigrant Roger Plant, who ran a brothel in the Chicago netherworld called Under the Willows, became the chief of this criminal underworld. You huh. precious minerals. It will get you killed. This timeline, Michael Hinky Dink Kenna, one of the two lords of the levee, was born in 1858. Lords of the levee. Hinky Dink. Bathhouse John. Yeah, this guy's nickname was Bathhouse John or The Bath. He was just He was the, the other bath. lord of the levee. The Bath. <laughs> Time to uh. The bugs are getting worse. Or probably because it was right in the middle of three major water features. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It could just be because he gets you wet. <laughs> oh, no, no. I think uh, Ash means like the reason the city's a swamp is because it's... <laughs> Yeah, but I'm just thinking about why he's called the bath. What was he called the bath? Let's, let's see, ah. bathhouse John, the bath. This will only make me stronger. Ooh, unlocks uh, the gunner. <clears throat> oh, this guy's wonderful. <laughs> So his uh, parents owned a pretty successful grocery store, but it was burned down in the Great Chicago Fire. Yeah. Um, but he said, why money didn't mean anything to me. I'm glad that fire came along and burned the store. Say, if not for that bonfire, I might have been a rich man's son and gone to Yale and never amounted to anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, he... <laughs> He got the name because he worked as a masseur in a bathhouse. Okay. Ah. <laughs> it's so shiny here. Hazard one, please. <laughs> Batman villains. Uh, but th there's so the modern gangs in Chicago. Let's see. Uh oh my god. They're split into two alliances. One is the Folks Nation, the other is the People Nation. It's very confusing. Mm -hmm. Find and eliminate the Dreadnought. Remember, you're on your own this time. There's no one to carry your body back to the dock part if you fail. So, let's see. They're broken down into the uh, Almighty Family, which consists of such groups as the Almighty Insane Poke Nation, the almighty crazy get down boys nation <laughs> the almighty simon city royal nation uh gangster family gangster disciples they're a very serious one um the gangster party people nation uh <laughs> the insane family wait so the insane pope nation is not part of the insane family no i guess are. not uh, insane dragon nation the Insane Dragon Nation. Oh, okay. It's it's like borderline randomly generated. <laughs> the Insane Ashland Viking Nation. Uh, <laughs> Nations outside of the families. There's also a maniac family. Um, <laughs> So these other ones in the Folks Nation, uh, All Port Lover Nation, Aztec Soul Nation, the Boss Pimp Nation, the Insane Gangster Satan Disciple Nation. Just <laughs> <laughs> uh... the upgrade I was looking for. Swarm detected. Get ready. He'll be with you shortly. Form a themed gang like in the Warriors. What would the theme be? I mean, I the first thing that comes to mind to me is I love a good goon. Like, I, and I don't. I mean the like, 
you know, like, oh, goon. Hired goon. Mm, hired I, goons. I, I love hired goons. <laughs> I didn't hire any goons. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Universal Latin Lover Nation. The Unknown Assassin Nation defunct. <laughs> oh, I guess they're known. <laughs> they became known. Exemplary work. We've achieved your objective in a record time. The People Nation. Uh, I rarely go for this one. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, the Almighty Gaylord Nation. Ah, very mighty. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Why is there also an... Wait. So there's the Almighty Insane Pope Nation in the Folks Nation, but in the People Nation there is also an Almighty Insane Pope Nation. Almighty Insane Unknown Nation. <laughs> <laughs> what? Nation not found. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking the higher tuning. I've been doing a pro bono this whole time. You mean pro boner? Almighty Laughlin Lover Nation. Almighty Latin King and Queen Nation. Inclusive. Very nice. This is my pick. Almighty Stoned Freak Nation. The Mickey Cobra Nation. This one does not have an almighty prefix. Mickey Cobra Nation. Gotta move it, Miner. The bugs are gunning for you. In 2005, U.S. Attorney Patrick J. Fitzgerald described the Mickey Cobras as one of several super gangs. Super gang. Okay. So forgetting. Uh. Oh my god. Independent nations. Uh, there's the Albanian Gangster Nation. Uh, the Cool Gang Nation, spelled with a K. The. <laughs> Taylor. Oh, that's right. Uh, the Tall Arabian Posse Boy Nation. And then just a lot of crews here. A lot of numbered one, 91st boys, 43rd boys. Bony boys, bad boys. Dragons, just dragons. The Crime Busters, which is which is what? very nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, uh, we are having a shark to see me super lesbian raid. Yo. Wait, wait, wait. Shark Sashimi, speaking of super lesbian, has everybody seen the fucking uh, photo shoot that Kristen Yo. Stewart did? Because if you are in any way sapphic, I'm gonna need you to look up the, the Kristen Stewart photo shoot. Because holy fuck. <laughs> Expensive, but you can't put a price on your own health. <laughs> Anyway, hello everyone. Uh, hello. For those who don't know, I'm Bad Space King, a VTuber who often plays anything at all. Uh, and this is currently who's with me, Al Gulliver Bear, who is a bear. a bear. They're a bear. I live in the woods. Uh, and <laughs> I'm doing an incredibly cynical ga Twitch gamer thing of playing a game on its release day. <laughs> In this case, <laughs> uh, Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. Uh, which seems to be a, well, a Survivor-like, which I guess we can now actually call a genre because so many people have fucking done it at this point. <laughs> yes, yeah, Sea Sharks, excuse me, I told you. <laughs> <Top choice. laughs> The 
Supply pod LZ is locked. Please clear it out. So yes, this is a, um, it is made by the uh, same, it's developed by the same people as Deep Rock Galactic, right? No, it's not, but it is, developed by, but the developers okay. are publishing it. It's published by, the, it, is this, I think this is their first published game. Yeah, this is the first thing I think they've published themselves, I think. Ah, uh, super, super lesbian animal RPG, I see, I see. Yeah, I figured that was what you were playing when that raid message came through. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have a quick look now that I'm dead. And uh, yeah, it's uh, developer is Fun Day Games, the publisher is Ghost Ship. Uh, Deep Rocks. Okay, yeah, the developer of Deep Rock Ghost Ship Games has published this spin-off made by somebody else. Uh, all right, all right. Prior it seems like the developer has done a very good job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, this is early access. I can't tell that. Yeah, that's how you know it's good. I, I, I can't tell from the way this is going that this is early access. I mean, okay, the menuing is kind of, you know, a bit sparse. Uh, like, it could do with a bit of a polish, but, you know, that's about it. That's about the only thing I could say right now. Uh, I need to get some new upgrades. Uh, I still don't give a monkeys about crit chance, so I'm just going to leave that alone. Uh, oh yeah, let's have mining speed go up. I feel like crit chance is... Yeah, I always ignore crit chance, but I feel like every time I don't ignore it, I fucking kill. Yeah, but it starts I, at I, a percent... I, yeah, but if I upgrade it once, it goes from 0% to 1%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sucks ass. <laughs> it's like, wow, that's really bad. And then the damage, even if I do that, is 0% until I upgrade that to be 4%. So I'm not even bothering. Um, like, later on, when I don't have... When, I, like, everything is so expensive, everything else is so expensive, I can't do anything, I might as well do that. But right now, no. Well, let's increase XP gain. Back into the caverns. Here I come. Uh, okay. I still need to Back do to the, bones. the things that I was doing. <laughs> oh yes, I was reading. You were reading some a list of gangs and. In, in the Chicago area, gangs from the Chicago area, including the Bad Boys, the Bony Boys, mm. uh, Crime Busters, which I still love, Dragons, Goonie Boys, <laughs> they're defunct. Oh, well, that means we can take it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we can have that, it's one of, free. One of the boys... What? The, the entire game than... is called One of the Boys. But if there's more than one of them, then that's false advertising. <laughs> Who fucked out? Uh, <laughs> the U Boys. Power Bunga! Transplanted gangs? Oh, gangs that were from somewhere else and then. Went oh, over right, there. the Bloods, yeah, the Bloods, Crips, Nortenos, Serenios. That's the upgrade I was looking for. Uh, yeah, so there's this gang called the... Oh, they're just the Jousters now. That's a shame, because they used to be called the Almighty Taylor Street Jousters. Please clear it. Oh. Um, the na their name is a reference to the medieval sport 
of jousting. Wow! <laughs> I'm how shocked. Did that, how did that been like? How did that come around? Because like maybe they like jousting. Like they just <laughs> joust right down Chicago streets. <laughs> the jousters' main symbols of representation were a medieval knight's helmet two cross lances, and a simple cross with four slashes above that was used in their graffiti, murals, gang business cards, and on gang sweaters. Their business cards. <laughs> business cards. <laughs> business card that says, hello, I am part of a criminal organization. <laughs> Motherfucker. Are you taking notes on a criminal conspiracy? Uh, wow, this is a real thing. The business cards of Chicago gangs. Oh my god. This makes my whole life better. I, I mean, I'll be honest, they look a hell of a lot better than, like, corporate business cards. How, how do you think Patrick Bateman would feel looking at it? <laughs> I, I think, I mean, he's, you know, he's just hollow inside, so, like, because he wouldn't have any particular like he i don't think he would even feel any kind of principled attachment to the design of business cards mm. it's just a thing he learned in connection with his lifestyle i just became better Your bradva apra cheek business card get five percent off at wendy's But yeah, you could straight up search gang business card and it's interesting. Compliments of of the gang city? What does that say? But it's got like all their names on it. Nice. I mean, not their real names, obviously. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, you triggered that one, Shark. <laughs> well done. Objective completed. Drop pod has arrived. Well, any of the American now. Psycho business we cards seem to be smartphones you. with pictures of food. <laughs> There's some amazing edits to that scene. This uh, I'm looking at one. The Young Latin Organization Latin Disciples membership card with a little place to put your name. Um, but it says in the corner, President Monkey, Vice President Lil Man. <laughs> I guess those were the president and vice president at this time. Diving deeper, taking you to stage two. Anyway, uh, I just discovered that similar to normal Deep Rock Galactic, uh, if you get a drop pod to fall on a boss, they'll die. That's beautiful. <laughs> She's wonderful. Yeah. Because not in, in the actual base DRG, those effectively do infinity damage if they hit you direct on. Uh... So, yeah, it seems that still is true. I want it. God, it is... Yeah, no, it is, it is a fun way of killing bosses in normal Deep Rock Galactic. Just dropping supply pods on them. <laughs> it's tricky to do, but... It, it just kills them. Damn bug start feeling like family. You know it's time to quit. Sorry, little bug. Your own fault for being full of good. Oh god, yeah, that, might, that made my mining speed go up quite a lot. That upgrade I just got. Hmm. Dial it in. Uh, beautiful. That did. That did. Much better. Yeah, I got a lot more just, mobility now. I, I love when you're just whacking those big grubs and it seems to not be doing anything. Yeah, but then they explode. Uh, and, it, and it just works. <laughs> the supply pod LZ is blocked. Please clear it out. Alright, where is it? Now that I've got like... Oh god, they had to put so much fucking rock here. <laughs> oh, 
Yeah, I'll just, uh, yeah, you can handle that, Bugs. Yeah, I'll, you can have that. I'll see you later. <laughs> see you later, Bugs. <laughs> Like they're a single entity. Give me some red sugar, I need more health. Ugh. Never felt better. Ugh. Never felt better. Ah, good. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, increases healing granted on level up. Yes, please. Oh, and there we go. Uh, I think I've got enough mining speed. Uh, oh, all weapons reload faster. Thank you. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, XP on the floor. Let's go get it. I die a little inside every time I have to pick up. Let's show you. Oh, Jesus. Uh, yes, yeah, so some of those bugs explode if you get near them. <laughs> so, so let me uh, just get a bit close. Let me just get a bit close to you. Let me, let me gauge your interest here. Uh, do you have any interest in playing Helldivers 2? I do. Uh, mainly right. because, like, Mental's been saying it's great and stupid, ridiculous. And I'm is... okay with that. Yeah. I, I've, been, I've been watching uh, Northern Lion play it. Picture of Northern Lion. And, uh,. It is just an unofficial um, Starship Troopers video game. Uh, uh, hello, Chaotic Awesome. Announcing yourself Ooh, by roll nasty. by making me spin the wheel. <laughs> good thing I good thing I paused because upgrade. Oh well. Oh, again! Ah. Bicycles. I am back! Yes. Have a drink. I will have a drink. <laughs> no, that's why people make me spin the wheel, because they know it hurts me. Anyway. This Just a works. bunch of... Uh... <clears throat> Actually, which of the Chaos Gods would be into just pain? Oh, that would be I guess Nash. Yeah, Slanesh, yeah. Well, I mean, I guess each yeah. in their own way. Well, Nurgle as well, maybe. And Corn is, you know... Corn likes making people feel pain. <laughs> it doesn't like feeling it, I guess. Particularly, because I don't think they have any strong feelings on feeling pain. Inflicting. I think I think Corn would have something to say about, like, oh, the, 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 like purity of pain. 
<laughs> Actually, corn would probably just be screaming. Yeah. <laughs> they love screaming. Not have much to say at all. How familiar are you with uh, the sort of more recent re like retcon of how the Green Lantern works? How recent and by are we more talking? Recent, I mean, like recent decades. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm familiar with, with the that. whole spectrum. Yeah, with the spectrum and yeah, which I think was devised by Grant Morrison. I'm I'm familiar with all of that. Oh, the Inquisition hates the Midwest because there's too much corn. <laughs> That's a really stupid joke. Uh, I liked uh, it anyway. Nurgle. Corn and Cinch all do things that incidentally result in pain, but Slanesh is the one for whom the pain could possibly ever be the point of the exercise. He, okay, that's valid, yeah. Just like Cenobites. Hmm. Wait, do, does Slanesh predate or antedate? Uh, I think the wait, Cenobites is... were first. Okay, yeah. <laughs> But well, for those who don't know, uh, I advise that you move, a, a good while ago now, uh, Green Lantern lore was reinvented so that uh, essentially the, the Green Lanterns exist on an emotional spectrum. The power of the ring is based on willpower, um, which puts them at the center of the spectrum, aka the color green, um, with different lantern cores in all the other significant positions. <clears throat> Ignore how the craft world Eldar obviously worship corn, Siege, and aspects of Nurgle. I heavily looked in the lore of Hellraiser when I made Demi's puzzle box and man it's dumb. Yeah, um, the original writer of Hellraiser, uh, what, what is his name? Uh, Clyde Barker, yes. Yeah, Clyde Barker had a venture into, I, I think actually two ventures into writing for video games. I don't think any oh, yeah. of them went very well. Yeah, no, they weren't um, good. I remember them. Yeah. His writing is, but his writing is very, it's not exactly world building focused. Mm. <laughs> it's more just like whatever cool shit he can think of in the moment. Ooh. Uh, Magma Core. Ah, the Cenobite predates Slanesh by only two years. Just. Breathtaking. I love. I think this is a typo. Oh, okay. Clyde Barker also wrote Clyde Barker's Clyde Barker's Jericho, written by Clyde like Barker. God. Yes. Okay, I thought for a yes, moment they that did. was unintentional. <laughs> they did. Yes, yeah, Jericho. I remember being excited for that when I saw the preview in like Game Informer or something. Mm. Uh, and then it was bad. <laughs> yeah, wasn't good. Just like William Shatner's Tech War. It's gonna be hazard one for me. Which, to be fair, Wait. I didn't even know there was a game of until I found out on like your stream last night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not exactly a prominent. Why, yes. Yeah, I wouldn't know. Yeah. We're sending you in to take out a dreadnought. Get it done, miner. We're all counting on you. Don't call me Shirley. Anyway. <laughs> Loot buck down. 
Move fast, little legs. Move faster. Actual official lore is that Isha is understood to be held prisoner by Nurgle because the inmates have run GW Asylum since before I got into the IP. It's just that they got there by ignoring all the hints that the Craft World Eldar are doing the centrist lib version of Chaos Worship. I love, I love that interpretation of like they're being very safe in their Chaos Worship. But, uh, yeah, and the new Green Lantern system, let's see. Uh, yellow, so if yeah, you're you in got that direction, yellow. Yellow, yeah, you got yellow, yellow is, is fear. fear. You've got, um... Who are, you know... And, you know, each of these, some of these is, are, were established yeah. as villains, some were established as heroes, but, you know, ultimately, they all kind of got time to be, uh... Well, in I don't the, in think the spotlight of were either, villains. really. Mm. Yeah. Um, but yellow is, let's see, yellow is, uh, Fear, who are the immediate villains of the Green Lanterns. Um, orange is green, oh, and there's which one, means there's that one there guy. is a single orange lantern. Yeah, because it's, it's all theirs. It's all theirs. <laughs> um, and then red is Rage, yeah. who I think was probably the fastest one to be de-villainized. Yeah. Uh, because, you know... Uh, they kept making characters that had very good reasons to be angry. Mm. I think at um, one point think... Supergirl joined the Red Lanterns. Yeah. I think the leader of the Red Lanterns, like, is a Red Lantern because his entire species was genocided. Uh, there's, Which, definitely you know, a red, valid. there's definitely a Red Lantern that's literally just a cat uh, that was oh, abused. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Delivery of one There's also a Green Lantern that well there was a Green Lantern that was a fly. Mm. A house fly. Abnormal amounts of will for a house fly. Canonically Batman would suck ass as Green Lantern, but make a very powerful yellow lantern. True. He knows how yeah. to use fear. Yeah. He knows how to instill it in others. Yeah, yeah. Which I think is one of the most fun observations of um, that whole thing is like, wait, so like, are these groups things that feel this emotion or inspire this emotion? And it, it it's kind of both. Kind like, of both of them, really? Like, people that inspire fear probably have a great deal of fear themselves. The emotions are communicative in that sense. But, uh, yeah, you go the other way, you get blue, which is hope. They're, they're just hope pill. Yeah. Um, pink? Or like, what is it? Like, violet. Oh, uh, yeah, violet, which is just like being horny? I, I'm very confused on what they represent. It gets really vague on that side of the spectrum, because you have blue, which is hope. You have the violet core, which is just... Henry. And then... You have the indigo, who are, I think, supposed to be, like, compassion or something? Yeah, although I've seen them, you, like... They're not all the nicest, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, as I take it to understand it, the Indigo really, really like their mind control. Uh, well, that's a, that's a decent way to do it. I feel like, yeah, they didn't really, like, have the clearest idea. I remember it, it was early on, it was just like, and the mysterious Indigo tribe. And then they clearly just didn't have anything planned. It's mine. Oh, river of fire, river of fire. Get round it. Time's ticking, 
You made short work of each one. Well done, miner. Okay. Uh I'm a new dwarf. I'll take this one. I'll take this one. Well, I took it. It's mine now. I'm interested in this. Damn, I forgot my lucky charm. So you are the one they call Shaft. This one. The, the sound was so like muted it was just like it wasn't even like you were mining it was just like a pillow <laughs> yeah well I, it, I don't know what I, the sound settings I need to do are it could just be that it's a bit quiet I don't know I think it was quiet because it was like lava rock mm. it's really soft I mean that could well be the case because it is yeah see this is clear Oh god, it's those fucking scythe oh, arms that come out of the so floor cheese. in some levels. Uh, in in normal DRG, they're here. <laughs> Don't want to get anywhere near those fuckers. Oh god, more of them. Ah, more guys. What I what I am looking for. Alright, now I can go away! Uh. Alright, they're all fucking dead. Because of the bombs going off. Uh, fire rate of shotgun, yes please. Get out of here. A lot of gold. I think I've got time to... Grab it. Supply ah. part active. Locate the LZ and prep it for landing. Can British people swim? Yes. All of them? No. Oh. Well, now you're giving me mixed mixed answers here. Well, I'm allowed to. <laughs> True. Uh, How much wood could a woodchuck chuck of a woodchuck would understand the jokes in Rick and Morty? The British have a same ability or lack thereof to swim as a group of most other groups with access to swimming training. Yep. What kind of question is that? I, I don't know. I mean, that is true. Uh, but we do generally have ready access to that. It is if you can swim, we... why don't you just leave the island? Uh, it's a lot. Well, to be fair, some do. Okay. I mean, people swim the channel. Oh, yeah. How do they get past the guards? They don't have to. They can just go. <laughs> There's no guards. <laughs> we can just leave. Yeah. I mean, it's not actually a huge number of miles to get to... Yeah, it is hard to swim the channel, but if you prepare for it, you can do it. And that, yeah, that is our person on a beach can swim to escape the country route. And then you just end up on France's shores. I guess you could also make it to Ireland. Uh, yeah, that's also doable. Uh don't know what the best transfer point would be. Maybe the Isle of Man? I don't know. 
Uh, oh, yeah. 34 kilometers at its narrowest point in the Strait of Dover. Mm. That's 12, 21 miles or 18 nautical miles. I'm not sure why they have different miles for that. Look, uh, imperial <laughs> measurements are bullshit and nonsense. <laughs> 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 Who knows about any of them? I mean, a foot is just someone's foot that they measured once. And then it slightly changed over time because people couldn't measure things accurately. And now it's just roughly a human foot in length. But human feet are all sorts of sizes, so who the fuck knows? Some people don't even have feet. Yeah! Yeah, can I measure this in foot? No, I don't have any feet! I mean, look at me, I'm ahead! <laughs> this ain't a picnic, miner. Do you own a wristwatch? I used to, but I don't now. Where'd you keep it? On my wrist. What wrist? My other wrist. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what this bit I'm doing is. I'm doing like the the, the pilot from airplane. I, yeah. Have <laughs> 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 uh, ever been in a Turkish prison? Get on it before it leaves. I'm a new dwarf. God. I haven't watched Shire Plane in a while. There's got to be people around here who haven't seen it at all. Yeah. And, you know, parts of it have... Um, yes. It's an older movie. I don't even mean not aged yeah. well in terms of, like, social things. A lot of it just doesn't make sense anymore because of, you know, post-9-11 world mm. and 70s things. Yeah. A few things haven't aged well socially as well. Oh, yeah! Specifically the basketball scene. <laughs> but actually, it's oh, on the surprisingly... Hole. Yeah. Yeah, surprisingly. Uh, God, okay. I feel like the, yeah. that yeah. group's early movies tended to age pretty well with those things. Don't mind if I do. God, okay. Uh, I'm reminded now of uh, the one of the stupidest things I've ever seen in terms of okay, so this is because uh, we were discussing airplane. Uh, so police squad in colour. Police squad in A wonderful, wonderful series. Uh, which that's the stupidest reason for being cancelled that I've ever seen. Why was that cancelled? Because I remember seeing at least one episode of that and it was amazing. It, every episode is incredible. They're all wonderful. And there's only six of them. And the reason for that is, and I quote, an executive, well no, an exe I quote the executive who said it, uh, it's a show that viewers have to watch. Hell? As in, like, you actually have to kind of pay attention to it? Yeah, yeah. That was their reason for cancelling it. Which is why it's amazing, because it is a spoof that is played so straight that if you're not paying attention, you would think it's real. Yeah, and it has jokes within jokes within jokes, and there's something funny all the time. I recall, what was it, at the end of an episode where they do a freeze frame, but it's not really frozen, and the entire police station starts falling apart? Yes. Yes. <laughs> and there's that joke where police is on the door of police squad. The police is written one way round, and squad is written the other way round, so it's always wrong. <laughs> and it's just shit like that all the time. <laughs> and... God! 
and just gigantic extended who's on first things constantly and <laughs> my god that show's incredible but uh yeah no that was why it was cancelled yeah you have to Absolute. you have to watch it yeah you have to watch it you actually have to like pay attention to the thing you're watching one on has television. to remember like Mm -hmm. You know, obviously a bunch of amazing stuff came out of that uh, yeah. time period of television. But it really wasn't like... In terms of the... Like, executive motivations at the time, it really wasn't the heyday of television. Because television's purpose at the time was basically to be background noise. Mm. Um... <clears throat> Like, before the advent of the internet, television's job was to just always be on, because, God, what else are we going to do? Mm. Lights and sounds. Yeah, lights and sounds. Bounce May 2021. <laughs> Jesus, oh my god. A cigarette joke? I'm not familiar with that one. What is that one again? Their plane partly was so straight laced because they bought the rights to what was pitched as a serious film, Zero Hour, and largely used the script. Script. The script. Even if they had a whole one guy who appeared to know he was in a comedy. Also, it was like a breakout role for Leslie Nielsen doing comedy. Yes, he was a dramatic actor yeah. until that point. And, you know, and my god, he just showed how you can do an absolute masterclass in deadpan comedy. Yeah. Oh. It, in so far as mm. I'm, like, academically interested in comedy, which I, I yeah. would say I am because I, you know, cared about it a lot since I was a kid. Mm. Like, it was just a complete sea change for, like, the art of spoofing. Mm. I mean, it also it completely like... killed the uh, airplane disaster genre for quite a while. That was an entire genre at the time, that's right. Yeah, and it absolutely um... destroyed it. <laughs> In general, disaster movies were a huge deal. I think there was one about an avalanche. Hmm... I can use this! Leslie Nielsen would repeatedly hold out a packet of cigarettes to people and say, Cigarette? To which they would always reply, Yes, I know. <laughs> yeah, oh god, yeah, I remember that one. <laughs> yes, I know. I actually watched somebody, I watched a video essay about those movies and about spoofs and how old ones like, uh, how you can track the decline of spoofs and how they stopped working and why they stopped working. Um, and the most tragic part is that you can't really point to a reason, it's just that, like, people became worse at it. Hmm. <laughs> Like, at the very meat and potatoes, like, timing, payoff, things like that. It's mine. Uh, Blazing Saddles dynamited the cowboy movie train. I, I'm so sad, the guy who did the song for Blazing Saddles thought it was a serious movie that mm. he was recording that song for, and he cried while recording it. And then he didn't know it wasn't, it was a comedy until he saw it in theaters. <laughs> Like, wait a minute. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. So I feel like if you're gonna cry while recording the theme song of Blazing Saddles, you might have just cried recording every song, which is valid. <laughs> Brings a damn tear to my eye. I cried while recording the crest jingle. <laughs> there is gold. Mr. Volcano. 
Oh yeah, Twister was a latter day one. Mm. The only part I remember of Twister is the breakfast scene. I don't know if you've ever seen Twister, but there's I a scene where Not for they... a lot. I have seen it, but not for a very long time. Uh, there's just a scene where they're all having like a, you know, like a, a sort of raucous breakfast. And it's very... It's such an aesthetic. Because it's very like... Uh, it's not like the most immaculate, perfect food. But it's just prepared so enthusiastically. <laughs> Yeah, I can, I can and get it. It's just yeah. piled onto the plates. Hell yeah. Big breakfast. Uh. <laughs> and, uh. Oh, yeah, Philip Seymour Hoffman says, uh. Ani, whatever her name is, I forget her name. It's been a long time for me, too. But, uh, her gravy is practically its own food group. If you, if you make good gravy, that's true. Is size the only property of a correct breakfast? Or... No, no. In fact, their breakfast is a bit unusual because it includes steaks. Mm. That is a bit odd. But I can get behind it. Like, Brits love a good bre protein filled breakfast, preferably with meat yeah. and egg. Yeah, it's like mashed potatoes with gravy and steaks and eggs. Don't put the lady ass like. Where'd you get all these steaks in the lady preparing the breakfast? Like, you see any cows out front? No. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, Twister, I don't know if it was a big deal, but it felt like a big deal for the Midwest. Mm. It's like... Not a lot focuses on, on the Big West. The first Wednesday of every month, at least in our area, there's like a creepy tornado uh, siren test. Right. At I, at I think noon. It's... I don't know why they made it so creepy. I, I mean, I guess it gets your attention. Oh god! Don't want to go that way! Oh! Was... George, uh, that reminds me, did you ever wind up trying a chicken fried steak? Um... I did not... I have not yet had the opportunity. I do want to do it. Yeah. The point of chicken frying steak is to improve a terrible cut of steak, so like, yeah. Uh, it doesn't necessarily need to be terrible, but yeah, like, a cut of steak that, you know, is gonna be pretty, like, lean and tough. Um, it, you know, the leanness will be fixed by the fact that you are frying it in oil. Mm. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that will solve that problem right quick. <laughs> And, uh, you can actually get this kind of, uh, I don't even know what it's called, but it's a thing you, like, push into the steak to put a bunch of little holes in it. Yeah, I know the, I know the thing. Tender and cook more evenly. Yeah. The big thing I know about chicken fried steaks is that more than once Alexander Emmerich Jones has told a story about how he had hallucinations while eating a CFS. This is a CF, which he cites as justification for his weirder beliefs. Alexander Emmerich Jones? Oh, Alex Jones! I did not know that was his full name. It's mine. Pan fried steak. Toughness also doesn't matter so much because you're supposed to tenderize the shit out of it. Yeah, it was like with the. What is that thing called? Uh... This ain't a picnic, miner. The bugs are all over you. Put like steak tenderizer. What the hell is it called? Steak tenderizer tool. Ooh. 
Seven ways to tenderize steak. Pounding. Salting. Marinating. Velveting. <laughs> oh, that's the Chinese way of doing it. That's right. Get the lead out. Uh, slow cooking, enzymatic applications, and scoring. No, well, that's not no those. Well, this one calls itself a meat maximizer. Deluxe meat tenderizer tool. Uh, I'll, I'll do the... I'll, I'll do the... Get it done, Miner. <laughs> He's dying in real life. Oh my god. This one just advertises itself as... Like, it can be used on fish steak? If your fish needs that level of tenderizing, you've done something terribly wrong. Hmm. Terribly, terribly wrong. I always wanted to go to a kitchen supply store because if you don't know if you want to level up your home cooking a kitchen supply store is the place to do that oh yeah yeah definitely <laughs> the bugs aren't appreciating your presence miner get the letter no! I'm coming I lost <laughs> What did he just he say? He just said he was coming. <laughs> come. what, what even is the explanation for that? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what? Uh, 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 it's not even a double entendre. It's just a single entendre. Uh, it just... <laughs> what? Um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just spin this wheel because it was redeemed, and not think about that. Squats. Squats. I don't need to be doing squats. No, you don't. I did a lot of, uh, hauling water up and down stairs today. That, that is a... That's a premier household exercise. Oh, yeah, for sure. Right. Oh, new oh, artifact That unlocked. just makes me think of the 100% enemy guy. Evil John Goodman. <laughs> tactical. Oh! The tactical lead burster. I use that in normal DRG. Uh, it's a grenade that just fires bullets every everywhere. <laughs> yeah, it just fires huge amounts of bullets. Uh, okay. Chance. Nope. <laughs> Alright. Uh, well, I might as well make it so it's possible that crits can even happen. And that they'll actually do anything. So, yeah. <laughs> there we go. There we go. It exists now. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, the wheel is still like here. Always... Yeah, I did some upgrades. You didn't miss anything. Yeah, yeah. I mean, in games like this, I always just do whatever is cheapest. I just kind of... Which I know is not optimal, but I just not kind really. of... Play. I let fate decide. Fate. The game designer decide. Yeah. The game designer decided that. Hmm. Oh, thank you for the clip. Ah, uh, thank you. I always could do with more of those that aren't made by me or CA. 
Is it seriously the case? Ah. Uh. Well, I think I think I've got a roughly got a handle on what this is about. <laughs> and it's exactly what I thought it was going to be. Like mechanically Which and uh mechanically flavored vampire survivors, but it is Deep Rock Galactic. And it uses yeah. like things from that in its mechanics and in its visuals. And there is for some reason a chance that the man will yell I'm coming. Yes. There is. Sorry, <laughs> Shark, you are not a, a not do not have permission to do that, but I do. There we go. <laughs> have a drink. I, I just did. I just did. <laughs> and I just did that as well. Well, now you've paid for them and I've done them. Ah, oh, now that I can do. Yeah. Ah. 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 God, why do I always yawn when I do that? <laughs> I think it's just your, you know, your body, like... I don't know, it's, it's, it's kind of just a learned behavior on the part of your body. Like, think of animals whenever they stretch, they yawn. So your body's like, oh, we stretching? Yeah. I might as well stretch the jaw muscles. Mm. That's true. Every time I see a cat stretch it's always like <laughs> or it's just like almost inverts its face in a yawn oh yeah you ever seen a rabbit yawn I haven't <clears throat> I will in I will endeavor to do so in the future uh let's see what have we got here ah some sort of milestone system to earn other things. Oh, God. Oh, there's a lot of them. Ah. Reach 75% critical chance. Reach 50% move speed. 75%. Okay, so there's... Do really big in an area, you'll get a thing to do with it. Uh, more guns, more guns. Just an XP bonus? Uh... I would like to unlock some of the other what other classes that do weirder things. As in the two that aren't currently available to me. Oh, I'm gonna do No. no. I think that I'm gonna leave them to come. Uh I did say it was gonna be a double bill today. So I think I'm gonna so I'm going to change over. Nice. The yawning hamsters are even worse. Because they're just living pockets. Yes. Yes, they are. Oh, oh yes. Scenes. Is this the one I need? Yes! Every creature has holes where all storage. <laughs> right, let me just get that gone for now. It's true, we're all storage, but only some of us are bags of holding. <laughs> I don't get to use this grid very often. I'm glad I'm glad I have an opportunity. 
anyone can train to be a bag <laughs> Mm. All right, maybe this is. Oh, yeah, I need to change the uh, thing. All right, there we go. Ah, right. Uh, I don't think this is made by the Planet Zoo devs, I think. No, this is the same right. people who made, well, Two Point Hospital. Two Point... Yeah. Uh, Two Point Studios. Okay, so it was their... Presumably their first game. Uh, yeah, Hospital was, I think. Uh, yeah, but... Yeah. And that was heavily, heavily inspired by Theme Hospital, which, you know, and it shows. And yeah. this also, it definitely shows. Uh, okay. So. People just look so yeah, they, this is definitely kind of based on the Ardman sort of art style. Mm. Oh well, actually, yeah, no. If you, if you, it's it's uh, it's very much the art style that again, Theme Hospital had. Uh, oh, did Theme Hospital uh, Hospital also have Ardman sort yeah, of thing? Yeah, it kind of looked like that. And this, uh, that's, this is in fact that's pretty much what both games kind of have a root in. Oh. Uh, hmm. Mm. Yeah, so this is the place where I uh, made last time I was playing this uh, a countryside college with a canal next to it. Hmm. Uh, and it currently does courses uh, in things that I can't look at right now without going into it, so I'm not going to. I'm going to go to <laughs> this place, uh, starting here, building the... Building the uh, University here at the Piazza Lanatra. A culinary student stomach the perils of fine dining. Yeah, I guess I'm doing culinary courses here. Start with two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Lanatra me. Lanatra. Translate. Lanatra. From Malagasy? No. Oh. Italian, I imagine. I would imagine, yes. Ah, with a, an apostrophe after the L, la natura, it's the duck. Hmm. So it's... Plaza, it's the duck plaza. Plaza of the duck. There is so Bless much you. to learn in the wonderful field of gastronomy. First, I suppose, that it's not an actual field, though with all the vegetables and livestock and so on, there may be rather a lot of time spent in a the field. There you have it. The study of food really does cover so much ground that we only manage to scratch the surface and talk about grass. Let's have some music, shall we? Okay. Welcome to Piazza Lan Lanatra. Lanatra, where you'll find cobbled stones and stunning cobbler. The students are eager to prove themselves in the town's famous cookery competitions, but a life on the stove can turn any aspiring chef into a perspiring chef. Will they wilt under the spotlight, or does it take a pressure cooker to make diamonds? Course info, gastronomy. Student intake, 10. Okay, so I've got 10 students. Doing astronomy. If in doubt, just sit quietly. So, uh. Hello there, I'm D DJ Sue Chef. You'll find my restaurant and nightclub, Beat Root, here in Piazza Lanatra. So, uh, two nuns are uh, riding their bicycles through town. They, uh, they're heading through, you know, an older part of the town. Uh, 
And one of the nuns says to the other, uh, I've never come this way before. And the other one says, uh, that'd be the cobblestones. Mm. <laughs> right. Uh, I'm here to help turn mm. your student body into a potatoes stew of learning. Welcome to the culinary world. It's going to be delicious. <laughs> right. Uh, let's pause. So this is what I've got to work with as a building yeah. right now. And I, there's all right. There's more sites I can get later if I need them. I currently just have any on the floor. Uh, I'm very food detailed, so I'm excited for this. Yeah, I mean, I didn't. It know is this... neat that you'll. Wow, there's a lot. You'll be able to have like separate buildings because most games like this, you it just kind of like. You just put everything in one building. It's nice to actually have a campus. Yeah. <laughs> again, that's again from uh, from its roots. Two Point Hospital yeah. did that, and so did Theme Hospital. Because you know hospitals yeah. have multiple buildings. It's not just a big building. Usually. Uh, the. Uh... Mayo Clinic in Minnesota, which, by the way, Minnesota is where the Mayo Clinic, if you didn't know, the most po you know, is the most important hospital in the world in Minnesota, just saying. Okay. Um, <laughs> but the Mayo Clinic, its campus is kind of spread all over. Mm. It has campuses in multiple cities all over the state. Okay, so, uh, right now, I need a lecture theater, a savory kitchen, and a gastronomy teacher. All right, let's let's get having a look. Uh, actually, I think I want to build the uh, savory kitchen first. See what sort of size constraints that has. Okay, it's six by six minimum, but I could do with it being larger. Because no. people will want stuff in it, and they're like, oh, God, come on, surely you can't want everything, come on. Mayonnaise is not a mediation. Yeah, all right, there. That's nice. Oh, double doors. Uh... I'm delicious, so I don't blame him. I'm going to need to independently verify that. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, okay. What is this Willy Wonka device? What? <laughs> oh. Okay, so we've got... Oh, and I can just lift up the room and move it, but I'm not... Uh, I'm happy with where it is. Uh, right, what else do I need in this place? Um, oh, it's got its minimum requirements, but I want more than that. Let's get more things in there. Uh, okay. Super chef could eat a horse. Uh, double door oh. as seen on TV. I love a good double door. Door. Push and pull, just not at the same time. Uh, right, let's get a recipe station. Consider adding celeriac. Uh, uh. Cooking station. Applying heat. Yeah, get a cooking station. So Chopping fact, station. Celeriac or slice. is basically unheard of in the United States. Ah. Yeah. I don't know why. Washing station, someone's gotta do it. True. <laughs> I've heard that washing the dishes isn't nearly as bad when you have, like, a proper washing station. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is facing the wrong way, and I've forgotten how to flip it back around. 
Uh, it's not Brian that. R? It's not that. Oh! It's X it? and Z. Interesting choice. Yeah, because Q and E are controlling the camera rotation. I see, I see. Uh, ah, yes, as every uh, room has needed a picture of me. Uh, next to a plant. You should put it near the door. Uh, I'm gonna put the, uh... Yeah, put, put, put your portrait near the hand sanitizer. Get a hand sanitizer because, uh, I don't like COVID and no one else should. Not a very likable pathogen. No. It's not our favorite. <laughs> Uh, da, da, da. What is your favorite pathogen? Hmm, that's an interesting question. Actually, I think by definition, I was going to say there must be a beneficial pathogen, but I no. think by definition, <laughs> by definition, they're not. It isn't because a pathogen is something that generates a disease, mm. and a disease is defined as something you know bad. Let's move that more central. Okay, we have this room. I suppose you could technically say that E. coli is beneficial, even though it, the same thing can be a pathogen. Mm hmm. We could say these things. I uh, need a lecture theater, which I guess I'll put next to the. Let's put it next to it, I guess. Down. It's a debate club stage. Let's say, hypothetically, you're making a room. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hypothetically. <laughs> <laughs> mm. All right, let's get some of that there. Put a bin in the corner. Should always be a bin. A nice little plant there. And right behind there, a picture of me. There should always be one of those. Can we get a statue of you? Uh, not at the moment. But it's something that could be done later. Another day, Back when I've unlocked virus. it. Uh... Bankulovirus, bankulovirus. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll put a picture of pizza in the uh, gastronomy lab. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to cancel this room. I want to complete that room. That room is complete. Campus has leveled up. By actually having the facilities to actually teach anyone. Alright, I've only got one teacher. Gil Asparagus. Uh, they can teach gastronomy. Uh, they have happy thoughts and good comic timing. They move faster than most. Uh, have an oh, iron bladder, but get hungry easily and are more cease than desist. Apparently. We're ceased and desist. What does that even mean? I don't know, but we're hiring them. Okay, so apparently bug gushers. Backyard viruses only in, only target insects and they completely liquefy the host insect. Apparently they're one of the several things that we now know cause the bug to reach a high place so that when the host then liquefies, it will drip down onto more leaves. I see. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Who do we have here? When the uh, we need at least one janitor. For, to be honest, we'll probably hire both. This is Benedict Malafor, the janitor. 
Uh, <laughs> they have maintenance skill. They are squeaky clean. Have excellent hygiene. They move faster, and they've been here before. That sounds ideal. Uh, this is Winston Tumbleweed. Uh, they also have maintenance and are rapid, and they're out of excuses. <laughs> right, hired. Um, and I might as well buy an assistant, even though I don't need one yet. Finley Bird. They are aerodynamic. They get hungry easily, and they're a semi-professional small talker. Oh, uh, then we've got Aldo Beer, who's facing the wrong way in their photo. Uh, they know how to do library management and comic timing. They are good in bursts. Uh. And they have an iron bladder. Hmm. 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 Well, I don't know what I need anyone for yet, so I'll just get the person who's fast and makes other people faster. <laughs> uh, manage the courses. Changes will become active next year. I can't upgrade that yet. And I can't get a new course yet. Ah, right, so I have still the access to the courses I had in the previous map. Scientography. 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 A multidisciplinary field that uses a range of technology to answer the biggest questions of today, like, why is that blue? Does it melt? And how long is a piece of string? Goth. Oh, yeah. Is one of the yes. archetypes. Goth is one of the archetypes. Neutral swats, poshos, goths. What is swat? Uh, nerds. Uh. Well, the kind of the the the, the book learning type of nerd. What? Uh, goth class clown and rebel. Uh, in other words, everyone just looks like James Dean. Uh, right. Uh. <laughs> Don't need any of that lot. And then we had virtual normality. A new era of technology is here, and it's sure to redefine the way you think about goggles. Students can experience being where they're not, like never before. Discover new worlds or practice tying your shoes, all in the comfort and privacy of the virtual realm. And that has these same people, but SWATs are more likely to turn up than neutrals. And class uh, clowns are a little above uh, poshos and goths. Apparently, it's they're called SWATs because um, in Commonwealth countries, cramming, as in cramming yeah. for exams, usually occurs during the revision week. Um, yes. Also known as SWATVAC or STUVAC. SWATVAC. Study week or take vacation. Oh, no, okay, that's a backronym, not an acronym. Mm. Um, SWAT, less commonly S-W-A-T, dialectal word Scottish, meaning to sweat. Mm. Uh, okay. He SWAT. It's like the past tense of sweat. Here's a song that perfectly captures the mood. Insect guts are basic, vertebrate guts are acidic. Wait, so if your guts, if, say, for example, I don't know, my guts were basic, uh, I might be in danger? Yeah, we might get our, our, our bodies melted. Oh, I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Student happiness is at 50%. Campus is on two. No academic results because no one's learned anything yet. 
Oh yeah, I should probably start the academic year. I've prepared. Well, there's probably stuff I need to build that I haven't built yet, like toilets. And yeah, all right, <laughs> let, let's 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 do that. Let's let's get that stuff out of the way. Oh, and if I get a dormitory, I can charge the uh, students rent. Janitor required in savory kitchen. So that's what a lovely dick move. Yeah, let's do that. Can you build a school and have it just be dorms? Uh, I do need to have the ability to teach the courses okay. that I have. Okay. Okay. <laughs> It is requ it is required. I love TP. Ugh. Hello, Canuda. Hey. Hello, Canuda. Canoodle. I'm teaching people things. Hooray! <laughs> Students are responsible for, well, for a lot, actually. So, I find, uh, uh what, what are they called again? Uh, Toxoplasma, interesting. Though, I feel like I find it interesting just as much because of its, um... Oh, you fucked it. Yeah, I fucked it. It's gone wrong. I think I might have just started in the wrong place to start with. Let's pick that up. Let's just get rid of it. Students have been spotted. Let's just get rid of it. Let's just do that. You could just move it- you could just move it back one. No. Uh, let's right. do we don't have that. Answer for you, but join us for some wild speculation later in the show. <laughs> and now let's put some more down. Uh, uh, I, f I find uh, Toxoplasma fascinating just as much because of the uh, sort of bizarre, um, weird evolutionary biology Joe Rogan shit that people have made up Students around it. To be in two places at once. Evolutionary biology. I mean, ev evolutionary psychology shit that people have made up mm. around it. Have <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely been physical, going on long enough? physical pain. The, the, have I genuinely been going on long enough that the wheel has happened again. Oh no! <laughs> Alright, let's pause. Um, go over to there. I think there's a maximum of four in a stream. So, this should be the last one. Crunches. Okay. There you go. Love you too, Canuda Hugs. <laughs> so, to uh, Toxoplasma Gondii is a. Um, is it a. 
apicomplexin? The fuck? Protozoan, that's right. That confusing group of weird little single-celled fellas. Uh, it, it's caused by a, a protozoan. And so the life cycle, typically, <clears throat> um, the protozoans transfer from various small prey animals to cats and back. Uh, and so they've created a um, sort of a suite of um, of symptoms in those animals that make them more likely to be got by a cat. It makes them less afraid of cat urine um, it makes them generally less afraid of cats, and there's all kinds of speculation about um, other behavioral differences. Um, but Toxoplasma gondii can also infect humans, and it was found, in fact, it can sometimes cause an acute infection that can cause uh, more serious symptoms, but most of the time it's more or less non-symptomatic. Uh, but there were some questions raised about whether it caused behavioral differences in humans uh, in addition to animals. And very quickly it became a sort of evolutionary psychology bait of people mm. projecting it onto all kinds of societal things. Um, let's see. Uh, the, the classic one that was immediately picked up by the news was that crazy cat ladies are caused by uh, tax toxoplasmosis. Um, which, to be clear, toxoplasmosis, or at least toxoplasma gondii infection, um, asymptomatic or otherwise, is very common in society. In some societies, it's like half of people have it. Um... But <clears throat> uh, people, there was some provisional evidence that it might increase the risk of uh, uh, onset of schizophrenia when it, you know, like earlier onset or maybe onset in people that would be predisposed but wouldn't normally get it. Um, Later studies have found that there isn't much, if any, of a causative relationship. Um, but right away, people picked up on, like, oh, crazy cat ladies are like that because of toxoplasmosis. Um, and it only got weirder from there. Um, and I said it was very Joe Rogan core because of the later sort of assertions. Things like, um, oh, a lot of people in Brazil have toxoplasmosis, and this study here says that it increased, like, um, like, it increased, like, uh, ingre aggressiveness in men or something, and, and, uh, sexuality in women or some shit like that and they were like oh so that's why <laughs> Latinas are like that um so it immediately became like a weird race science um and then claiming like oh it's it, it's why Brazilians have big butts uh what? because it, it, there was some study saying that it might increase the size of the butt um and... Can't people just have huge asses? <laughs> just have huge asses in peace. Um... Maybe that's why mine's so big. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's just mm. put some portraits of me up about this dorm. Uh, you can look at a picture of me when you go to bed. 
Isn't that nice? Evolutionary psych could actually be an interesting field if it weren't just a bunch of bigots looking to justify their shitty beliefs. Yeah. Like, there's always... Like, the first little bit of evolutionary psychology is always really tasty and really interesting. And then it's just, like, weirdos playing Calvin Ball. Um... Like, everybody just eventually started seeing whatever they wanted in it. <laughs> like, I was legitimately interested in whether it might have a connection to incidences of schizophrenia. Apparently, it doesn't seem to have much. Which is an interesting result to me, because I actually care about science and mm. i care about negative results as well yeah they're important <laughs> weirdly strangely <laughs> oh come on where can i put this bin There, in the middle of the freaking room. That'll do. Um, here's a poster of pizza, I guess. And, uh, a neon guitar. You can definitely go to bed when that blares over you. Yeah, that's fine. And some DNA. I'm imagining it's also just very loud. It's just like, yeah. It's like the it's like the Kenny Rogers uh, chicken roasters or whatever from that episode of Seinfeld, where the sign is just blaring through Kramer's window, and it's like the surface of the sun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a door. <laughs> Hooray! They can I can charge people money. To live there, but they still can't shit, so I need to sort that. <laughs> is that the scientists are people and take their social conditioning with them when they interpret results? Yeah, I, I have a friend that's um, uh, in school for a scientific career. It's false. No way. And no. Pure it's pleasure. weird how it's false. He's the one never trained happened. to become a scientist, no way. but. Wrong. You're wrong. And I... Oh. <laughs> oh, somebody triggered that one. Pure fiction. <laughs> Alright, let's... Electroshock therapy. Yeah, yeah. Low doses, it just kind of like um, sort of reboots the pathways of the brain in a very low impact way. It's just they were using massive, it, it's like antipsychotics. Initially, they used massive doses of antipsychotics. Oh, God, I would not want to be in the dorm room next to the toilets. Yeah, well... <laughs> you know those walls are so thin. Yeah! In fact, <laughs> no, let's, let's, let's put a window right there. <laughs> oh, lovely. You can now see directly into the toilets. Hooray! <laughs> um, this is like some kind of awful experiment. Right, there we go. Oh, there's, oh, there's a little curtain on this side. And it appears to be frosted glass. Okay. Oh, wow, that, that... <laughs> that, that's not right. <laughs> oh, that's strange. That's not right at all. <laughs> What? <laughs> huh. 
frosted glass, more like frost my ass. Anyway, uh, next thing we're going to build is a shower room. Oh yeah, the 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 stretchy stretchies, <clears throat> and even trepanning has a use. It uh, mm. relieves pressure in intracranial pressure. Just a single towel rack. No, there'll be two. One of my ancestors is the guy who invented the torture rack. <laughs> Oh, wow. There was a hot minute where I was pretty sure that one of my ancestors, one of my relatives, invented ice pick lobotomies, but I am pretty sure that's not the case. So, and I'm thankful for that. Can we get a big bay window into the, into the showers? Yeah, of course. On the oh. outside of the building? Oh, right. Oh. Yeah. Um, let's see. Yes. There we go. <laughs> Got one there. Uh, to be honest, uh, let's move that. To be like there. So I have a very strange recurring nightmare. And it's, um... It's a, it's kind of a light nightmare. It's, it, it doesn't leave me horrified. But I don't know why it's recurring. Um, mm. I don't know what to make of it. But it's... I am inside of a... Skyscraper... Apartment building sort of deal. Right. And I need to avoid being found. Um... Right, now i got showers. Uh, There's a lot of crawling around in vents and elevator shafts and and oh, it's very strange. Okay, again, it's frosted glass, but there's no, uh, but it's not very <laughs> good. <laughs> uh, the last time I had that nightmare, I the antagonist was i'm pretty sure um inspired in my brain by uh fanny craddock mm -hmm. are you familiar with fanny craddock oh, yeah. um i was not i was literally I, I read about her the previous like before i went to bed i read about her and that very night no, uh, my brain was like yeah i'm mainlining that into the nightmare uh, <laughs> so what do you know about Fanny Craddock? Uh, honestly, I remember that right now my brain is remembering that they exist. That's about all I'm getting right now. Uh, so, let's see. Oh my god, she looked so scary. Uh... So, Fanny Craddock was a, a, criti a, a food critic turned television chef, and um, all right, hold on. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna pick off little bits from the Wikipedia article here. Yeah, go um, ahead. She appeared on television at cookery demonstrations and in print with her fourth husband, Major Johnny Craddock, who played the part of a slightly bumbling, hen-packed husband. Is that a vending machine for cheesy gubbins? Yes, it is! That's the <laughs> British thing I've ever heard. And there's Burp. Uh, and because this is published by Sega, here's a crazy taxi machine. Ah, uh, yes. Uh... Oh, am I gonna build these things outside? I love how Sega just loves putting that in there. Like, they, they're always willing. <clears throat> no, no, I won't build any of the outdoor food things yet. 
Uh, do I want anything else in the corridors before I start? Uh, yes, pictures of myself. Here and here. Hooray! Um, maybe some benches outside the lecture hall. Craddock's parents did not manage their money well. Her mother, Bijou, 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 whatever, spent extravagantly, and her father, Archibald, had sizable gambling debts, many run up in Nice. Mm. In attempting to keep their creditors at bay, the family moved around the country. <laughs> So. Okay. Benches. Ooh. She was, uh, okay, she got she... a job at a restaurant and was introduced to Auguste Escoffier, the uh, French chef. She hailed Escoffier as a savior of British cooking. She began writing under the pen name Bon Viveur as a uh, restaurant critic. Uh, oh, Canuda, you mentioned that. Uh, I'm working on something to do with Crazy Taxi right now, actually. Well, not right now, I'm streaming right now. But over the last week, I've been working on something. Because isn't it crazy? Isn't it absolutely wild that there isn't a stream safe mod for Crazy Taxi? Isn't it just weird? Well, that's going to change. That's going to change yeah. right soon. <laughs> <laughs> I've been working on it for the last week. Uh, it's near done. Beautiful. Uh, and I'll have it ready soon. I mean, if everything goes right, it might be done tomorrow. I just need to uh, stream it myself to see if it works and see if I get VOD muted. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's the only way I can test it. You're cool. Get in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, completely just absolute coincidence right now. Well, no, it's not a coincidence because I saw this machine in this game. And went, oh yeah, you no one can no one can frickin' pray crazy taxi on Twitch. Uh, and then I thought about it. And then I had a look. And yeah, all the tech's there to do it. It's just no one's done it. So I'm doing it. Anyway, let's start the academic year. So Fanny Fanny Craddock became a uh, food a food tuber <laughs> on BBC in 1955. Guys are all anyone who's anyone is listening to. They're fabulous. Streaming can go on forever, but tapes, tapes end. Don't you see? They end. One minute there's music, and have then bang, drink. gone. Okay, have a drink. Just save like us. Oh, and they've gone out of style. Oh, okay. And I've been told to save, so I will. <laughs> and now I have to sort. Oh god, all the, all the everything's being redeemed. Oh. <laughs> oh god, all the buttons. <laughs> Benny advocated bringing Escoffier standard food into the British home and gave every recipe a French name. Um, her food looked extravagant, but was generally cost-effective, and Fanny seemed to care about her audience. Um... Ah, that's where I- that's where I keep hearing about her, because I- I- you know the YouTube channel Tasting History? Yes. That's where I hear about her most often these days. Ah, uh, yes. She comes up there a few times. Listen, I get it. You want your students to flower. We're more afraid of you than you are of us. <laughs> Listen, I get it. You want your students to flower, but their growth will always be self-raising. 
when one of my chefs needs some help, I send everyone else home and talk to them slowly and loudly. Maybe that's extreme, but some extra tu attention can go a long way. I recommend building a private tuition room. New building unlocked. All right, let's, let's build one. As time went by, however, her food began to seem outdated with her love of the piping bag and vegetable dyes. Uh, as she, as she uh, grew older, she applied more and more makeup and wore vast chiffon ball gowns on screen. Uh, <clears throat> Janitor needed to unblock toilets. Lovely. Famously worked in various ball gowns without the customary cook's apron, averring that women should feel cooking was easy and enjoyable rather than messy and intimidating. But it's messy and enjoyable. Yeah. <laughs> It is messy. Uh, so, we enter 1976. In 1976, Gwen Troke, a do? farmer's wife from Devon, won the Cook of the Realm competition, oh, leading to the BBC what? selecting her Come for its TV series, The, the Big Time. Time. And replace your mind with the power of the orb. The orb. Oh, amazing. I'll do that then. Thanks. <clears throat> the big time, where talented amateurs were given the opportunity to take part in a spectacular professional event. Troke was to organize a three-course foils literary lunch at the Dorchester in honor of the former Prime Minister Edward Heath, with Earl Mountbatten of Burma and other dignitaries in attendance, and asked Craddock by then a tax exile in Ireland, <laughs> along with Chef Eugene Kaufler, actor and gourmet Robert Morley, nutritionist Magnus Pike, and many other experts Troke admired to advise her. The result brought about the demise of Craddock's television career. <laughs> wow. Troke went through her menu of seafood cocktail, duckling with a lemon jelly and corn starch fortified bramble sauce, and coffee cream dessert with rum. Her idea was that with seafood, waterfowl, and rum, the meal had a nautical theme, which would appeal to Heath's love of sailing and also be an appropriate salute to the former Admiral Mountbatten. Which I think is reasonable. And those dishes sound good. Seafood cocktail, duckling with a lemon jelly and corn starch fortified bramble sauce. Coffee cream dessert with rum. <clears throat> Craddock, grimacing and acting as if on the verge of gagging, told Troke that her menu was far too rich and she would never in a million years serve a seafood cocktail before duck. She appeared not to be familiar with the term bramble, and when told it meant a blackberry was horrified that it would be paired with a savory duck, remonstrated that a sauce like that should be brushed on flan. She derisively declared that the jam in it was too English, and that the English had never had a cuisine, erroneously claiming that Yorkshire pudding came from Burgundy. While accepting that Troke's dessert was delicious, she insisted that it was not suitable, as it was too sickly served after the sweetly sauced rich duck, countering Troke's numerous objections with, Yes, dear, but now you're among professionals. Craddock suggested that unless Troke were to serve salad and cheese afterward, as is done in France, then she should use small almond pastry barquettes filled with palate cleansing fruit sorbet with spun sugar sails, as this was equally suitable for the naval theme. Troke kept insisting that she liked her signature coffee pudding with nautical rum in it, while Craddock uh, appealed to her to think Ooh. of her diner's taste buds and stomachs. Thank you. And try to achieve. Oh. Thank you for following, Ashbell. Thank you, Ashbell. Somehow, and try to. This this is a place you want Ashbel to be. Ashbelero is now following. <laughs> Achieve a balance in her menu. Uh, unfortunately, the replacement dessert was not executed properly, and Morley said he felt that Troke's original coffee pudding was perfect. The public were incensed at her eye-rolling rudeness and condescension, and felt that Craddock had ruined Troke's moment. The Daily oh. Telegraph wrote, Not since 1940 can the people of England have risen in such unified wrath. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Fanny wrote a letter of apology to Troke, but the BBC terminated her contract two weeks after the broadcast of the program. She would never again present a cookery program for the BBC. Troke, by contrast, published a country cookbook of recipes the following year and included the coffee cream dessert Craddock had vetoed. Speaking about the incident on Room 101 in 1999, the Big Times producer Esther Ranson described Craddock as hell on wheels and that she had reduced this poor little lady to nothing. Um, I, I want to just, like, uh, iterate that Fanny Craddock by that point looked like the most comical caricature of, like, a scary British lady ever. She's got, like, scary shark eyes. I see. <laughs> and drawn-on eyebrows. I... Okay, I need to buy... I need to get a new tutor, and this is them. Hmm. Charlotte Turbo. Uh, skills in private tuition and in better in gastronomy than my current one. They are bin blind and drop litter everywhere. They get hungry easily and they're scared of moths. Get in there. <laughs> Our sources tell us that a van parked on campus and began to sell so, yeah. not only baguettes, but I don't know. I, I think I'm just pastries as well. Darkly fascinated by. It just extremely self-serious professionals. Mm. And I was holding this really nice-looking baguette. What a day. There you have it. Lightning doesn't tend to strike twice, but here's hoping for more serendipitous pasty vans in our collective future. Oh, well, nobody's taking a class in here just yet. How desperate you are. No urinating on campus facilities. And they're learning about... Uh, cherry cheesecake, berry. Che it's just berry, various berries, berry cheesecake. Mm -hmm. Ooh, money, letters. You know what? I would love if at a culinary school, if they had lectures presented beside a giant model of the food. That would, that would be, be wonderful. That would be so nice. <laughs> Yeah! Uh, statement year one, I've made money. Uh, Pamo has required, requires us to have a library. Alright. I, th I agree. Probably should have one. Um, Janitor needed to unlock toilets. Where would I want it to be? Yes, yeah, that looks that looks good. Remember, no matter how good you make this place, it has a window from a dorm into a bathroom. Yes. Ah! All right, I was wrong. <laughs> Nasty. Right, okay, I'll get back to whatever this person's asking me to do after I do this. Crunches again. Okay. Uh... Yeah, still haven't done any jump jacks or push-ups. Uh, this is just the one we're getting in the next one. Right. What was that sound? Yeah, I hope you all appreciate how well the Wheel of Suffering works. 
now that I had to rebuild it after stopping using stream elements. Oh, the rich Evans of our of our streamer collective. <laughs> In the videos made by Red Letter Media, Rich Evans is the mm. one that the beleaguered mm. uh, constructor of all of their overly elaborate devices, like the Wheel of the Worst. And ah, uh, uh, yes, well, that does appear to be my role here as well. If you want something <laughs> overly elaborate and completely dumb, I can build it probably. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's probably enough of those for now. I can always... Oh, mm. records cubicle, you say? There was a Beat Saber every day. Woo! It's a lot. <clears throat> uh, Mike Adama tries to do about that much Beat Saber every week. Jeez. And, uh... The funny thing is, um, you know, they, they uh, mentioned to their uh, doctor that they had been doing exercise and that it was like, you know, cardio exercise. And uh, the doctor was like, oh, what do you, what is it, like 20 minutes, 30 minutes? And they're like, oh, no, a couple hours. <laughs> um, it is it is very rigorous exercise. No, I, I think I think Beat Saber is a perfectly valid exercise. Yeah, it's, absolutely. It's it is low impact. That's a great part of it. Like uh, if you try to do the cardio through running, it would that would, that could be really rough on your joints. Um, not so much with Beat Saber. <clears throat> Lukadama will still have to sometimes reinforce one of their knees. Ah, there we are. A, uh, an applicant for the librarian. Poppy Wimper. Uh, Poppy Wimper. They, uh, skilled at comic timing, having, having happy thoughts, God, I wish I had that skill, and library management. Meaning they're actually qualified for the position. Uh, they are rapid, they move faster than most, and they can say that again. <laughs> right. If the students are having a bland experience, don't expect their food to be any different. Show them a tasty time by throwing them a party. New room unlocked student union. Mmm, right. I have some experience doing that stuff. It may not surprise anyone to know I was involved in the student union. <laughs> not terribly surprising. I wouldn't have thought so. Right, we've got a bar. And... Things. Yeah, I'll just put stuff that like my actual student union bar had in it. That's darts board. Two box. Uh. It didn't have this, but I wanted it to. I want it to. Game table. There was eventually arcade machines, but they were in a different room. There were some. It sofas. is funny that, like, you know, jukeboxes don't actually need to look like any particular thing, but everybody just agrees that they all should look like that. Yeah, <laughs> that's how they should look. That's just the way it's turned out. Uh, 
Uh... Actually, the one exception is a. Uh, there's some. Let's see. There's some diner jukeboxes that uh, look different. Oh no, that needs. That can't go there. Ah, perfect. There we go. There, there, that's better. And uh, a picture of me. That should always me. be there. A picture of me. <laughs> Ooh, fitness center access. Ooh, dance machine. Do I buy the DDR machine? How many kudos kudosh do I have? A hundred Ugh Not not enough to spend on stuff willy nilly. Uh okay, I'll just buy that as is. That needs Alright. Events are a great way to promote a healthy work life balance and the best way to make people happy. There's lots of organized fun to be had on campus. Willy nilly sounds like a guy. I mean, it could be. Like first name Willie, last name Nilly. It sounds like an annoying nickname for Willie Nelson. <laughs> yeah, I was, uh, uh, but like in a lot of years in, uh, Oh, Finley Bird has finally found a position for themselves. Uh, yeah, so I did a lot of um, student union stuff when it became clear later on in my uni life that no one else was going to do it. So uh, I ended up having to run the local RP and tabletop gaming society. We were also the anime society as well. We kind of did everything. Just, if it was a niche nerd thing, we'd do it. Mm. Um, yeah. Uh, and, oh, 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 was... all right, fun new, fun fact. Uh, one year, I believe this was one of the years I was in some measure of power uh, there. Uh, we... Power. Yeah, well, to be fair, I did get some pretty interesting titles over the years <laughs> like official ones but uh <laughs> uh the okay so there was a a, a funding bonus to the largest society to the largest student union society from the union from the student union and one year we were on track to be that one for the first time like we were big it was all we had loads of people uh and then to spite us the the uh the rugby society and the uh netball society decided to merge into one society so that they'd have more people than us <laughs> it, this really is a bit like uh azoken the anime Mm. Are you familiar with it? No. I forget if I have I mentioned it to you. I don't think so. So, uh, keep your hands off Azo Ken, or just Azo Ken, is a um, anime about three girls that start a high school. Um, the sound of two point counting. A high school. Well, they want to start a high school anime club. Yeah. But the anime club already exists, and it has, it's very clicky, uh, and they're sort of three outcasts. So they resolve to start a film club, and just kind of obfuscate the fact that the film they're focusing on is anime. Mm. Um, 
And the entire series, which is a limited one season series, I recommend it to everyone, is just about them making their first like three minute anime. And it's this love letter to animation. It's amazing. Mm. Um, and Azoken, by the way, means film club. <clears throat> so it's an anime about making an anime, but it's called Keep Your Hands Off Film Club. Um, but it has a lot of aspects of like student, like hobby organization politics in it. Oh yeah, I've got I got tales about that kind of thing. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> there was this uh, in one of the later years there was this we had a, re a representative from the union who went around talking to everybody to kind of figure out what everybody was about and what they needed and that was kind of the first time that had really happened uh, and this guy okay so we ended up nicknaming him Mr. Sports because he couldn't understand anything unless it was put through a metaphor of sports like we had to try to explain a very specific guy what we were about and we had to like kind of talk about how how what we had to try to somehow describe like D&D through the lens of sports to get him to understand what we were about but as soon as he did he was like oh yeah that's cool <laughs> he's always very enthusiastic and he was always very nice but Comprehension was difficult, but they always were willing to give it a shot, which was nice. So we we generally liked Mr. Sports. We just found it rather cute. We just found his whole thing rather curious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, I love that idea. <laughs> Trying to sell uh, Mr. Sports on the idea of like worker co-ops. Yeah, we have to it's describe it. that to <laughs> sports. <laughs> oh, they're having a nice party in the union. Just let that keep going, I guess. Uh, lots of room for the library to expand later. We've got breaking news for you yeah. on Two Point Radio. A zoo worker at the Crockle Bay <laughs> Zoo has fallen into the gibbon enclosure. It's been reported that they're not under any immediate danger and zoo officials are currently negotiating with the gibbons for the employee's release. Hmm. See, a hostage situation at the zoo. The party was a success, not seen anything like it in days. I'm sure the students appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Finish the prep. Excellent football is just maddened the gathering. Janitor needed to unlock toilets. Lovely. It's really amazing to me that John Madden is like a joke character in American mm. popular culture. <laughs> when, like, he won a Super Bowl. <laughs> like... <laughs> He's like one of the most qualified footballmen in in well American footballmen in America. During the filming of Good Cop Sad Cop, Roderick Cushion was forced to pass out blindfolds and earplugs to the crew due to uncontrollable laughter on set. Such was the comedic power of one sad policeman and their really nice partner. Roderick Cushion. Schedule the event. Uh, book it in the lecture theatre. So I guess we're having some film students in. From somewhere else. The campus grounds are not a toilet. Hmm. Oh, need more janitors. I, I recently had the realisation that, like... I mean, just about every sport is better than American football, but basketball is so much better than American football. Mm. Like, it's, I don't know. I, I just, I suddenly something clicked and I had, I, I still am not going to watch it, but 
But I had an appreciation for basketball is just like the court is so small and the teams are small. So you like it's very direct and personal. It's like 10 guys and you can see everything that's going on all the time. It's also a very good sport in that it is just for people with a specific body type. Which makes it good for, like, every culture can have basketball because there's inevitably going to be gangly guys in that culture. True. <laughs> yes, I pine for a life of international intrigue and late night dinners at the county's expense. Sadly, to be a spy, you need to be able to whisper. And I just can't do it. When it comes to disclosing secrets, you don't want my persistent volume and crystal clear intonation. Attention. Your finger is not a toothbrush. Let's keep making this nice little staff room. There's a desk with biscuits on it. Just what we all want. There's tea. Lots of tea. Uh, mm, those biscuits. Uh, all right, we can we can snack law this. In we go. <laughs> uh, this is as close as I can the get. Jam in There's the a center. jammy dodger there. Uh, pretty sure that's a bourbon biscuit there. Those are probably chocolate digestives. Oh, yeah. Um, Viennese whirls, maybe? There. Viennese whirls. I don't know the proper names for any of these things. Yeah, I know. It's, uh,. I know this is a this is a more local knowledge kind of thing. So Viennese whirl. Oh, those look lovely. Right, is a Viennese whirl a cake or a biscuit? It's a biscuit. <laughs> okay, so. Vini's Whirl is a sandwich biscuit with jam and what is that white stuff? Does it come? <laughs> uh, it's probably uh, uh, I'm trying to remember. I, I don't remember precisely what it is. I would imagine it's a buttercream. Uh, but I might be wrong. Uh, Delicious butter cookie slathered with raspberry jam and a light vanilla cum filling. Okay. Ah, yeah. right. So, yes, yeah, there's vanilla buttercream and some jam. Wait. <laughs> right. Again, I'm going to leave some room for expansion in the staff room. Because people will ask me for things <laughs> I'll just let them ask me before I actually make them because I don't have to staff room built you know, I'm, I'm amenable to calling and particularly bridge style cookies biscuits because it just feels right but uh like I, uh, I will. Ab there are things absolutely I will call cookies. Like, if 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 that is chewy, I am inclined to call it a cookie. Yeah, something about chocolate chip cookies. It's just like, no, that's a cookie. It's not a biscuit. That's a cookie. Yeah, no. It's, it's like, <laughs> yeah, I get it. That's uh, that. You don't say a chocolate chip biscuit. That doesn't make any sense. You wouldn't call it that. Less than that. This anyway, what messages have I got? I lost money this month. Also, I've only got $12,000 left. I might have to just not buy anything for a while. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't have bought so many portraits of yourself. No! <laughs> just for that, I will I'm burn gonna this add... school down. Just for that, I'm going to add another one. 
oh, I can't put it in this room. Invalid room for posh painting. Damn it. Why? How bizarre. Put it in here, then. Oh, what's going on that in there? That enormous vat is terrifying. It's a fucking burger! Hey, it's the burger. The that making thing, burger. Uh... <laughs> So, some sort of coal-fired... Okay. Place a power nap club stand to get people asleep on their feet or a speed walking club stand for chefs that move like hot soup out of an unlidded blender. Okay. Um. I have unlocked some new items. Uh, sometimes I, in food YouTube, on the food YouTube side of things, you'll just see people casually referring to the CIA. <laughs> and it always takes me a minute to remember that they're talking about the Culinary Institute of America. <laughs> and not the Central Intelligent a Intelligence Agency. Hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't uh, want to be mistaken for that. <laughs> it, it's especially confusing because the CIA does sometimes get its fingers in things. I mean, that's its whole job is getting its fingers in things it shouldn't. But uh, it will, so, like, for example, it publishes geographic information. So CIA statistics are an actual thing as a geography enthusiast that I have reason to uh, see often well people signing up so, to clubs when I first heard about it it was legitimately like did the CIA put out a cookbook have they I don't, it probably I don't like they have. has a lot of unwise things in it. <laughs> like poison and various diseases. They love, they love killing their own citizens. So that's one of their favorite things to do. Social structure. Fascinating stuff. There's I have a lot of unwise things in me, like shrimp. <laughs> it's been too long since I've had some good shrimp. Smooth creatures with whiskers and a big bushy tail. Fantastic. How the hell do they get the shell off of those tiny shrimp in the cup noodle? Nothing. <laughs> and I made money, but not much, but I made some. But they're so tiny. Like Janitor needed to unlock toilets. Lovely. They're basically krill. Actually, hold on. Do people eat krill? Maybe, but that's more whales. Oh, apparently krill oil is a fucking... Uh, krill oil is like a... I don't know. Superfood thing. Oh, that... Fuck off. <laughs> Superfood, which is an absolutely meaningless bullshit term that isn't real. <clears throat> you might as well just call it magic. <laughs> Showering is technically but not socially optional. How's this going? What are they are they cooking now? Uh, 
Students are reminded to have the time of their lives. Uh, okay, yeah, I, I, I I got given a challenge to make sure my students. Are... Oh, it's pizza! Look at this pizza. Oh, yeah. Giant pizza. <laughs> what was the largest pizza ever made? Let's see. World's largest pisser. Let's see what this was. No, I don't want to know what their largest pisser is. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. We are joined by Professor uh. I, I kind of have to rely on the Guinness World Records. Oh, God. Well, it's at least a decent starting point. That's right, Ricky. Gibbons are actually, well, they're land mammals and apes, much like ourselves, but with very long arms. Apes, you see? Well, I never. Thanks for joining us, Professor. There's nothing I Apparently like... Apparently it was made for, like, a YouTube video for a Mr. Beast type guy. <clears throat> Six metric tons of dough, two metric tons of sweet marinara sauce, just short of four metric tons of cheese. This is the new world's largest pizza. Collaboration between Pizza Hut and YouTuber Eric Decker. I missed when these giant foods would be the result of like a town yeah. just getting a wild hair up their ass. <laughs> oh, those were the days. You just get a weird small town in like Spain just going, I want to make a giant omelette. <laughs> and then. <laughs> A massive omelette happens. Yeah, yeah. Attention. <laughs> Your finger is not a toothbrush. A personal goal from Noel Moose. Sure, I love standing, but you can have too much of a good thing, and I'd hate to overdo it. They want me to build a park bench. And... Chloe Shambles and Dennis Bullfrog... Uh... Want to... In uh, want to make their relationship better, and they want a rose garden. In the name of love, could we please have this thing do it for love? Well, I don't have enough kudosh for it, so too bad. <laughs> but I can build these benches for this other person. Janitor needed to unlock toilets. Lovely. Put them next to these flower beds. There we go. It's time for Chef Ricky's morsel of the day. You can buy bread. Have a party again. Respecting supermarket or interweb parlor replacement service, but there's something to be said for doing it the old-fashioned way by throwing the loaf against a brick wall until it disintegrates into a fresh and flaky nothingness. It'll take a good couple of hours, but boy, is it worth it! By the way, homemade breadcrumbs one of those things that you really don't need to do. Yeah, no, that's 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 you don't. You don't need to do it. I've tried doing it. You don't need to do it. 
<laughs> I mean, for one thing, it's really easy to modify breadcrumbs. Like, mm. it, it is true that, you know, a lot of standard breadcrumbs will just have a bunch of additives and stuff. They'll have a lot of, like, salt mm. and, you know, herbs that aren't the best. Assistant. You can make those choices yourself. Just get pure panko breadcrumbs and, you know, if they're a little too large grain you can just crush them down by hand mm. and then you know throw in some dried herbs some yeah know. just just take a base pre-made yeah. breadcrumb and then just muck with it to do what you want yeah. to do with it yeah. i saw um twitter especially uh Black Twitter was having a good time with it, talking about like, uh, you know you've made it when you know what these are. And it was, this is very US centric, but it yeah. was um, what is it called? Vital Farms Eggs? It's a certain brand of eggs telling oh, no. writing all over the carton. Rog rain on campus! Oh no! Frogs! Uh, Janitor needed to unlock toilets. Lovely. Rouse tomato sauce, which is... Oh, here they come! Oh! Frogs! Oh, no! The rouse tomato sauce I've heard is good. Frogs! <laughs> I like how they explicitly show that they're not dead. Yeah, there's just frogs everywhere now. I guess the janitors Pretty are off good. to go and collect the frogs. Hmm. Yep, just stick them in their jackets. Just fill their jackets with frogs. You're gonna have uh, frogs' legs in the cafeteria. I mean, especially because there's a culinary school. Alright, uh. Yeah. Wilbur Noise and Jess Spoon. Our sweethearts. We are so close we can finish even we can even finish each other's You were supposed to say requests, I knew we should have practiced. Uh, they want a Ferris wheel. Sure. Okay. Cool, why not? We've got breaking news and a surprise twist from the Gibbon enclosure. The zoo worker, first thought lost to the diminutive apes, has become their leader. They claim to have learned to love the gibbons, their way of life, and their disproportionately lengthy arms. So, instead of going to work in the zoo every day, they'll just be living there, I suppose. That's one way to skip the morning traffic. I've been Ricky Hawthorne. Good night. Well, it's good to see that the gibbon hostage situation has been resolved. Facilities. <laughs> uh, but the third one was Kerrygold Butter. Do you have Kerrygold Butter in the UK? Yes, we do. Okay. That's like super primo shit in the United States because our standard butter is non cultured and not especially rich. Uh,. Yeah, I will say, you know, eh, rouse sauce, maybe. I think you could just kind of modify a decent tomato sauce yourself. Cheesy Gubbins are offering us a reward if we let their mascot, the Cheesy Goblin, come to the campus for a promotion. Oh my god, Cheesy Goblin. Alright, yeah, you can come, Cheesy Goblin. You can come here, that's cool. Janitor needed to unblock toilets. Lovely. Yeah, it made me quite happy to see people uh there they are. good butter. Oh, I was hoping it would look much worse. They, are, they I mean, look pretty bad. Yeah, but it wasn't good. Now where are they? I was they? hoping for like a cheddar goblin. No. Inspection in progress. Mm. 
you know what? Yeah, I think Attention. I may need to... Is not, a toothbrush. not rums, I need this. Hot dogs. Burgers. Seen some new assistants to help with that. We have Emily Bullhook. Ah, we have Dennis Codpiece. You can be high. Um, I can't afford to hire you just yet. Your body is a temple, and you wouldn't fill a temple with crisps. I absolutely would fill a temple with crisps. I can now hire those people. Okay, yeah, let's hire Dennis Codpiece. Uh, aerodynamics, library management, they drop litter everywhere and they spill beans. And another assistant. Brandy Rainbow, Tim Terry and Ronaldo Stud. Ronaldo Stud. Can't afford him. Uh, oh, you bet you can. No. Uh, I'm gonna actually just wait till I have more money and then I will. We are approaching the end of the academic year. Try not to worry. There's the goblin! Gonna have a shower? Mr. Goblin. No, they're grading the showers on their food. Wait! Victor Carnage! No, I'm gonna buy Ronaldo's stud. The academic year is over. Victor Carnage. After a very savoury year, it's time to cook something sweet. A truly great chef is just as familiar with sugar as salt, with butter as cheese, with tiramisu as tender stem broccoli. Remember, food is all about balance, except when it comes to custard, you can't have too much custard. Yes, you can. I've unlocked the kitchen. I'm, I can't... I'm living proof of that. Mm. <laughs> what do I mean by that? Uh, Alright, let's view the campus awards. Darum Sobrino. Yes. 
hit the ground smiling. <laughs> yeah, that fits. <laughs> Alright, yeah. No one graduated because it's only the first year. Uh, hey, but nobody got expelled. Nobody got expelled. No one failed. No one dropped out. And the average results were 88%. Oh, we got the award for academic excellence, which gives us some money and kudos. And the Campus of the Year award. Gives us more. Okay. That's the awards. Welcome back, fellow students. It's me, DJ Short. Right, I now Keep need to build. Of two point county, so you didn't have to. I should be able Today's to afford topic, the kitchen now, I suppose. Would be cooler if she was less popular. No, I can't. I didn't want to spoil it for you, but the answer is yes. Here's a uh, pretty niche favourite of mine from an actor. Can it even pronounce the name of? It's pretty challenging stuff. Check it out. I need like 10k more than I have. I feel like the baking and sweet... That, that should be its own building. Yeah, probably, but I can't afford that. Like, I'd need yeah. uh, to spend like 35k just to have yeah. a lot. And to have the yeah. building, I'd need 50k. I'll have a lot of it. I have... I'm just obsessed with the Mr. Creosote scene. Yes. For Meaning of Life. It's very good. Also, well, if I can't buy that yet, I will buy something I can make use of. A smoothie kiosk. And a coffee kiosk, because we all know students need that to live. Students yeah. eating rubbish are reminded. Or weird little pouches of uh, nicotine. Mm, yes, apparently. <laughs> Let's get Lara Crusts. They're aerodynamic, they're rapid, and they chew fat. Chews fat. Speaking of Mr. Creafote, Creafote, Creafote. Mr. Creafote. <laughs> Let's manage courses. just want to take on more students well, it gives me more tuition fees I guess frequently asked questions I believe that smell is you well I made a mistake there oh well I have to live with it <laughs> yeah Cheesy Gubbins report. Cheesy Gubbins are proud to announce they finished another success promotion. The Cheesy Goblin enjoyed their time at the campus and they hope to be back again soon. Keep your eyes peeled and your Gubbins cheesy. What is that? The, the Goblin enjoyed their time? Yes. Although it's pretty derivative student chat, there's something I've got to say. Sure. Cheesy Gubbins... See the... Well, Mud ads? Fine. When I keep getting well, a dude talking about how 90% of Americans are addicked to coffee. Snack, you should try um, grub grubs. Dude talked about how he would take really five caffeine pills a day, then talk about how, how horrible we felt. You might think I sound a bit crazy, I realise that, but... I've been getting ads for, uh... They do take a few months to arrive. Some kind of hair loss product? I think it's worth it. And... <clears throat> it's really just... Like, sad. This product trying to sell itself is like, you know, guys giving testimonials like, oh, I thought my fucking life was over when I started losing my hair. Hey, what? Dude, why? 
Uh, yeah, like, no. <laughs> I have, you know, a lot of uh, experience on that front. Yeah. Like, I I went bald at, like, 19. Yeah, yeah. Well, I started getting bald at 18. But the, the process yeah. didn't complete for a year. Well, actually, it sort of completed, and then uncompleted, and then completed again. <laughs> Round two. Fight! Yeah. Um... Yeah, lost it, got it back, <laughs> then lost it again. The second so time round, it took everything else time with time it. Styles. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of judgment passed on women, especially, I mean, God forbid you have female pattern baldness. That's, like, uh, really rough, uh, socially speaking. But... Let me just say... Uh, <laughs> Hey, hey, bold ladies. I will be nice and wonderful about that and also <laughs> do whatever shit you feel like you are comfortable with me doing to your bold head. There, there's some very odd bold women. Uh, like a shaved head? Absolutely. Um... I've just real. I've just seen these, and it annoys me. But I uh, men without hair still and uh, were and still are treated pretty poorly by American media society. Yeah, yeah. That Jenner is about to shit his pants. Oh, that one, the other one. <laughs> I think he might have made it to the bathroom already. He just hobbled by. Yes, I have unresolved campus requirements. But I fucking just have to go ahead. Now, it's time for a student story <clears throat> about a bakery that's jam-packed no yeah, more. It's, it's very bizarre that balding is looked down upon. Especially as being unmasculine because it is due to an, like, it is specific to an excess of testosterone. It doesn't really happen without testosterone. traditional uh, jam donuts. But sadly, the sweetness ends here. The machine that fills the donuts with delicious fruity mixtures, such as red <clears throat> and green, has been suffering from jam rot and finally went out of commission today. Oh no! The machine the bakery is serving donuts filled with nothing. They may seem hollow, but their taste is one of poignancy. A fitting farewell to a fine confectionery friend. Starting next week, the bakery will be back up and running with a new machine looking to make new memories and serve lots of donuts. Showering is technically but not socially optional. No, I don't think there's much I can do. I just have to lump whatever problems I'll end up with. I like how I'm not actually being able to teach people. <laughs> Students are reminded that you don't have to ask to go to the toilet.
Yeah, made money. Uh, gastronomy year two students are meant to be having a class, but there is a problem. There isn't a kitchen. Oh. <laughs> Maybe you should have had the one janitor at first. I didn't have enough money. I couldn't have afforded any of it. Syllabus requesting new room. A new room. Oh, no, yeah, I'm just talking about, like, from square one. Oh. I mean, I didn't have it before this year began. Couldn't have built it. Oh, I see. It didn't exist. Not till uh, <laughs> I got to year two. Make more money. New to Roach Burger Ranch Roach Ribs. Mm. With Hmm, how much do I need to build the, uh, 35,000? Oops. That uh, didn't save me much money at all. Well, uh... Yep, sell the staff room. Don't need it. Screw it. What else we don't need? I know you're having a date, but I'm selling it. <laughs> it's gone now. Um... Right. Now I've got enough money to build the room. Hooray. Mud water? What is mud water? Is this what we're doing now that, like... Liquid death was successful. We're we're just going with Oh liquid death. Hey, you know what I found out about them? What? They make NFTs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ain't that great? How big does this room need to be? 
Rice, it needs to be this big. Okay. energy and focus without the jitters a coffee alternative consisting of 100 percent organic cacao ayurvedic herbs and functional mushrooms functional mushrooms with just a fraction of the caffeine found in coffee you get energy focus and immune support without the jitters crash or poor sleep <laughs> Ayurveda is the traditional medicine of uh, southern Asia, is India, and Pakistan, and such. It has cordyceps in it. Lovely. You would think, because they're obviously peddling nonsense, that they would pick a fungus with a better PR? than cordyceps, mm. but I guess not. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I need to do some more mod moving about. for things.
Move that there for now. Move this picture of me over to here. Then I need to start deleting some Have rooms. A drink. Get up! I need to do all those things. <laughs> Oh, oh, God, I've been going on for a while. Oh. Ah, mental, you've redeemed nothing. Enjoy your nothing. That next to the door. No, don't want to move that window. That window was fine where it was. Move that portrait over here. And now. Campus Radio, some of the team were a little concerned to hear that our listenership has gone down over the past few months. But frankly, I'm not sure that I agree. I'd much rather our little radio speed walking wheel as small as possible. I'll get back to that later. And taking us from a cool underground scene to something bland and mainstream. In fact, my dream. Alright, can I now get rid of that? No. No, it just has to be the size it is. Very well. It would be pretty much no one listening at all. Just me talking to myself for myself. Funny oh film no, wanted. It would be pretty excellent. Jess Spoon. I watched a film on my phone the other day. That was small. Yeah, all right. Have a nice time, I guess. And I wouldn't fill a temple with crisps. All right, how much money do I need for the second sever savory kitchen that I currently can't afford? Save. 30,000, which I absolutely don't have. Well, whatever. Fuck. Uh, I could wait on the other one. I'll wait on this one. Um, a clown on top of a mini. Funny! <laughs> oh. 
Also, the picture frame of me has slightly gotten in the way. Uh, no, not that. Not that. Not that! Rowan Atkinson is another example of a very just scary, self serious professional. Not that I don't appreciate it. There you go. Uh, uh, CA, it was a huge burger! <laughs> burger confirmed. Ah, made 19,000. Uh, no, I'm not doing that. Ah, there's the burger again. I'm making the burger so he can fat and shake the table when he slams it down. Sounds like you should have just made several burgers, honestly. Your body is a temple, and I wouldn't fill a temple with crisps. Well, what else yeah. have we got going on? Uh, they want the speed walking wheel. <laughs> no. A statue of love wanted. Can we have this thing in the name of love? Yeah, all right. Getting a statue of love before a statue of yourself. Hmm, well, how much I can do about that? Oh! I, want, I, should, I should still have this thing unlocked. Where is it? An outdoor item, seating. Or was it counted as an indoor item? Uh. Hey, oh no, exterior. There it is. Uh -huh. uh, nope, still not enough. Need to ah. move that a little more. Uh. There we go. Uh, the place that in the last map I just called the fuck bench. Yeah. Well, no, you see the couple sits there, and then each of those statues just shoots each of them in the head something. Yeah, and they just die. Hmm. Something out of the What is oh, yeah. that director's name? Uh... Cronenberg. Mm. So something out of Cronenberg. It's technically, movie. but not socially optional. No, I'm not going to do student union party just yet. I need to buy this kitchen that you need to. Learn things, eh? Campus requirements. Savory kitchen. I've nearly got enough money. Just need a little more. A little more money. If you'd only not bought that, uh... Oh, God, the roach burgers. Yeah, there's roach burger. Oh! fuck is that? A bookworm. I got it. I hate it. Well, it's, Kill it right it, away. it's gone. It's no more. Good morning. They still want that wheel. I'm not giving it to them. 
on Two Point Radio. You're listening to Two Point Radio. This is Ricky Hawthorne. It's a few minutes past something. We'll check on those numbers mm. while you listen. See, I want a game that's like this, but you're constructing like the equivalent of the wall drug. Do you, do you oh. know the legend of the wall drug? No. This is unfamiliar to me. Or it's something that's just lapsed in my memory. I forget if it's in North Dakota or South Dakota, but it's ah. in one of the Dakotas. Got enough. And it was originally just like a road stop. Um, it's called the Wall Drug. And it's um, success started when they put up a billboard advertising that they had free ice water, which the other drugstores had that, but they advertised it. Right. And so people stopped at the wall drug and they kept putting up billboards and people kept coming and eventually they expanded the wall drug to the point where it started being not just a drugstore, it started being a mall. And they kept putting up billboards. They put up billboards on other continents. They put up billboards in Antarctica. Um, they put up billboards everywhere advertising the free ice water. And it's still a huge mall in Dakota. Right. Um, 76,000 square feet. So which Dakota is it in? Okay, it's east of Rapid City in South Dakota. There's, man, there is nothing in North Dakota. Like, there's occasionally something in South Dakota, but there really is nothing in North Dakota. Over there for now. Oh, it's in the town of Wall. It has its own little airport. I see wall. Oh, that's it? Huh. That. I don't know what I was expecting. Hmm. Collection of cowboy themed stores. Two million annual visitors. Jesus. Wall drug dinosaur model. Yeah, there's the wall drug sign in Antarctica.
Favorite kitchen. Savory kitchen. I feel when the kitchen is savory. Hmm. Minimum room size not met. Okay, I need to cancel that. Be six by six. Okay, uh, I need to think about this. Okay, I'm gonna move this to here. Move this to here. Then I'm going to pick up this place, put it over there for now. Just move the odd bits of furniture over there for now. And take this lecture hall. Put it there. And then take this room, put it there, put that to there, put that back to there. That should be enough room. Be. It's at least six by six. Yeah. Six by six. And I put the door there for now. That could go there. This can go here. Uh Now, move that. There. <laughs> Edit this again. Put that there. So now I've got this corridor to do with as I will. <laughs> as you will. Ah, and they want a star room done. back, so this would be a good place to put it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Now, let's make this room a little bit better so it's not just complete shit. Uh, well, Jays, I've been checked out for a bit of the stream. Oh. I uh, ate a big pizza before beginning. I think it caught up with me. Oh. Well, probably going to stop soon, so... Ah, that's all right. Because I've been going for five hours, which is honestly quite long for, it for me. And yeah. there's a picture of me. Yeah. I, this is a good place to end on because you've uh, you've conquered uh, this particular this particular problem has been yeah. resolved. Uh, let's put a... You've uh, bad fur dated. it. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Done. You have staff on break with nowhere to relax. Your Consider building a staff room after all these with all that money you have. Yeah. A bowl of hog Can't afford that. Uh, logs. No. That just wasn't it yeah. In my you want a tunnel of this love? Is for the hog log no. <laughs> go away. That you don't have to ask to go to the toilet. How much does a staff room cost? I have just enough. He's died from students. Uh... 
It is the bare minimum of a staff room. <laughs> Well, you could have made it only three by two. That would be the better room. Just a closet with a couch in it. Yeah, I've, I've put as room for future things. Oh, and that gave me two grand for doing it. Hey. Uh, no. Yeah, okay. And a surprising updraft from Pebbly Island has brought another cloud full of frogs to the area. They really should put a roof on the frog sanctuary. Dazed frogs make the campus grounds less attractive. They need to be scooped up by a janitor and posted back home. Students, is your rubbish already? Oh, we're, we're literally just post, putting them in the post. Students are reminded to balance their social lives with all the work they haven't done. Hey, got five grand from everything being clean. Frogs. Even though everything's currently covered in frogs. Lovely. Well, yeah, as you're right, this is a good place to end it. I have solved the current crisis. <laughs> Saving. All right. Went potentially very badly wrong, but sort of pulled ourselves out of it. Uh, Shark has returned from Big, Big Lurk for us to be finishing. Uh, yeah. But, you know... Uh, the campus is... We had some funding issues. It went bad. But now it's good. I had yeah. to get very creative with uh the ge with like just destroying rooms and rebuilding them and moving everything but like, oh no i need to check the limits on the wheel <laughs> take off the limiters oh well, i guess we've got this before i go yeah. Yeah, 30 minutes is definitely not right. Squats again. Okay, time to flex the fuck muscles. <laughs> if you're doing it right, every muscle is a fuck muscle. Oh. Ten. Okay. Okay. Done. Dun dun dun. Finished. Any complete. Tiny muscles that let you wiggle your ears, especially those muscles. Mm. <laughs> right. <clears throat> I've taken us back here, even though I'm actually taking us somewhere else. So I don't. I don't know why I bothered. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to the end screen. This one, though, not the one I started with. You can finish on two point. Yeah. Okay. Let's find ourselves somewhere to go. I mean, you know, probably Pank, I guess, but we'll see. I might be. I might be someone else. You could raid Squonk. Could raid Squonk? Could raid Squonk. Yeah, that was, that was, yeah, Hank was all like, oh, we'll take you to, uh, uh, yeah, we were just thinking about doing Squid Punk. So, why not? Why not? Somebody, uh, somebody else that's streaming. Uh, her stream is titled "Learning a Fictional Language." I thought, oh, is she playing one of those games where you learn a language that they made up for the game? She is learning Finnish. Who says that? Good pumpkin spirit. 
Hooded Spider. Right. I might show up in tanks or maybe in these kind of streets. I don't know. Mm. Yeah, right. Um, say words when you get there. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> I don't care. This is just, you know, metrics. Be good to yeah. Squid Pug. They're doing Persona 5 Royal. Uh, so, let, let's go there, I guess? I don't know how to end streams. I've been doing this for about a year and a half, and I've no idea. Hopefully, right. I, I tell people I love them at the end of the stream, just because they don't know what else to say. I mean, I do love them. <laughs> Too late!